All right, let's let's see what's going on. Hello, well, welcome, welcome. We're we're doing um, we're doing Breath of the Wild again. I know it's everyone's favorite. We're doing more of it. I don't know if it's everyone's favorite. It's it's now one of my favorite. Um, we're gonna be doing the fourth divine beast, getting the lava lizard taken care of, and then hanging out with some Gorons. That that's the only goal today. Um, before that, I wanted to. I saw this video literally right before uh, I started streaming, and we're gonna look at it real quick. Uh, so Cuphead is one of my favorite games, and they're releasing a DLC for it in 21 days. 21 short days, we will be having Cuphead DLC, and we'll be playing the hell out of that. So, in order to get ready for that, we're going to watch a little bit of content surrounding it, so we know what's ready to expect when it comes out in 21 days. 21. Of course. Thanks, Lyle. <laughs> World premiere. We got Lady, we got Miss Chalice. Alright, let, let's break this down a little bit. Alright. So the some of the areas in the new DLC seem to be focused around ice and snowy mountaintop stuff. So this is obviously one of the bosses from there. It looks like we are fighting some type of snow starfish. He looks phenomenal. I love his little... Is that a bandana? I don't know. Looks like you got two little platforms stand on. He's going to throw... Oh, are these pies? Nah, they're like little platforms. Oh... Alright, I am... This looks so sick. I mean, I don't know what I expected. They literally were talking about this game for the last, like, three years. The DLC was supposed to come out in, like, 2017 or 2018. It's now 2022. It's been a hot second. So they've had the time needed to get it all polished, which I appreciate. You know, I'd rather it be good than be fast. This is a new character, Miss Chalice. Um, the lovely little tea kettle cup thing. She was not in the original game. She's only in the DLC. Uh, if you're not familiar with Cuphead, essentially, you are playing as a cup. You shoot big boss. You kill big boss. It's really complex, but I think I think you can handle it. Oh, I am so excited. Also, she has some. She's also showing off some new weapons. Um, I didn't notice it until now. The she's shooting like lightning bolts out of her hand. She's doing a try shot burst. Is she also shooting those moons? I don't think she's shooting those moons. That must be coming from that man, the uh, the Blizzard man. Yeah, that's a try shot. I assume it's a little weaker than the standard shot because of the three burst action, but it's good coverage. That covers a lot of ground. Oh my god, dude! And the bosses are so wacky. All right, and she. Okay, so the standard cups, Cuphead and Mugman, their supers are horizontal. When they do their super, like she just did there, that big. I think, do we miss it? Is it coming up? I think it's coming up. Yeah, she does her vertical super. Oh my god, she's doing, okay. Not important. She seems to have a vertical super do a bunch of damage, which will probably be beneficial to some bosses and not others. Oh. Hell yeah. Way to go, Miss Chalice. Well done. Phenomenal. Absolutely phenomenal. Exclusive look at season two of the Cuphead show when I co-host Netflix's Geek. <laughs> oh, baby. Ever getting more Cuphead television show, which also is pretty good. Uh, it wasn't great. I thought I could write a better Cuphead show than what they did. But the animation, kind of the jokes and the fact that the world is so good made it work. Um, so anyways, that was Cuphead. What do we have to do? Um, okay. So before we start the Zelda stream, I wanted to do one thing real quick. So I mentioned last stream that I thought it'd be really, really funny to play a sound effect every time we saw a shrine. So instead of it going bleep, 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 instead, it would just yell at you. And I kind of looked at the ability to mod the game, and it's really not easy. There's not like an easy, it's not like Fallout or Skyrim or any of these older games. It's kind of complex, and I don't want to get into it. So instead, what I'm thinking is I'll just record myself screaming shrine and then every time we see a shrine we'll just play that sound every time we hear bleep bleep we'll just ha instead have me scream shrine shrine pull over 
There's a shrine over here. Shrine. And I think that will work. Uh, so let's get that going. I think that will be funny. Also, if, if I can make it distorted and like gross sounding, I think that would be even better. So I'm going to open up the, uh, the recording app. All right. And let me just double check that it's recording what I'm saying. Let me just double check that it's let me just double check that it's recording what I'm saying. Obviously, it's coming out of the wrong audio. Let's try it again. Let me just double check that it's recording what I'm saying. All right, it sounds beautiful. Really good job. Really good job there. Uh, we're gonna delete all of that. All right, <clears throat> everyone, get ready. I know it sounds loud. It's gonna be loud. <clears throat> The wiggle sound. This is, this is intense. <laughs> shrine! Shrine! There's a shrine over here! Pull over! Shrine! Right here! I think that's good. I think we did good there. I think that was really well done. Let me just um, make sure that uh, sounds okay. I'm sure it won't be too loud or too aggressive. Let me just... Shrine! Shrine! There's a shrine over here! Pull no, ha, see the problem is it's I'm still not yelling. And I don't want to like realistically yell because I have neighbors. But I really want this to be good. We might have to just risk the yell for the quality audio. Or alternatively, do I have any effects I could add to this? Oh yeah, wait, wait. We might be able to just like Alright, here we can look at it together. Alright. So this is what the interface looks like. All right, let's see. We can distort it. I think if we just throw enough effects on there, that will really cover everything we're trying to do. All right, so I'm thinking... <laughs> I don't know. Select the audio for distortion use. All right. Shrine! Nah, it just doesn't work. God, I had to re-record it. I don't think being closer to the mic helped. I don't. I think that just made me think it was gonna be louder. Oh, I don't know. I don't want to yell. That sounds so aggressive. Do you think we just pull a clip off like YouTube that has someone just yelling the word? Oh, let's just see. Let me just see right quick. Is there someone just yelling the word shrine? If we can pull off YouTube. Word shrine. That seems specific. The shouting prayer with sh I don't think this is what I want. What are we searching? I'm trying to get a sound effect that just shouts the word shrine so I can play it when we see a shrine. And I tried doing it myself, but it wasn't working. But I'm what if what about the dictionary? What if we just record it like shrine shrine i don't think that's good enough whoa 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 whoa, whoa. all right all right all right we are moving towards our community to go we got eight thousand boot bucks raised for our pizza cooking stream really good work really really proud of this community for bringing us to that point Whew, real close zero <laughs> points left oh well now you can't play a laugh track that's unfortunate one second, I gotta change one thing. Okay. Uh, I think, all right. I can shout shrine for you tomorrow. I'll, I'll shout it now. If you wanna shout your own shrine, you do it. I'm gonna, I'm gonna just do it for myself right now. All right, <clears throat> everyone get ready. We're gonna shrine this bad boy up. I know I sound loud. <sighs> shrine! 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 There's a shrine over here! Alright, let's see how that sounds. Let's see if that works. I, I'm trying to not yell. Shrine! 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 There's a shrine over here! That's good enough. Alright, let's see if we can just make it stupid sounding now. Let's add, you know, slow and reverb to it. Okay, well, I'm not voice acting. I'm just, I want something funny. Instead of it going bleep, 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 that it actually, like, yells at you. Um, auto duck? That sounds bad. Uh, a wawa? A phaser? 
Bass and tremble. What do we just make it bassy? How does that sound? I think, that, I think we found it. I think we found it. <laughs> Undo that. That might be too much bass. That might be too much, too much right there. Shrine! 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 There's a shrine over here! It's also really loud. Like, super loud. Uh, let's turn the volume output a little down. Shrine! 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 There's a shrine over here! A bit higher? <laughs> Alright, one second. Do a 10 bass. Shrine! 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 There's a shrine over here! Yeah, All right, I gotta. The volume needs to be higher, unfortunately. Uh... Shrine, shrine. Oh no, I just shrine. lowered it twice. There's a shrine over here. All right, this is our default, right? Shrine. Yeah. Okay. Shrine. Okay. I I hate hearing myself yell that. I'm I'm regretting everything that I've decided to do here. Wait, is there just a there's just distortion, hard clipping. Ah, oh, God, dude, this sounds awful. Uh, a rhythm track. <laughs> mm. Yeah, I know. I know it's not gross enough. We can add distortion. What happens if we add distortion? Okay, now we hard clipped it. Shrine! 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 There's a shrine over here! Okay, now that actually... I, I think we're getting somewhere. I think it's too loud. <laughs> uh, which is fine. We can... Um, we can add the bass effect and we can change the volume. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I don't want to actually add too much. Drop the volume a little bit. Shrine! 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 There's a shrine over here! Alright, and then just to really add the ending, we'll add like a little bit of echo. <laughs> shrine! 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 There's a shrine, shrine over here! There's a shrine! Okay. Nah. Say it like... Sh how... What do you... Shrine! Like that? Okay, you want to re-record it. I'll do this one more time. Because I can't keep yelling in my apartment. I think that's going to be a bad thing for me. People are going to be really upset with me. Alright, let's, let's do it one more time. Um, I don't think the effects save. Alright. <clears throat> I guess, okay. I'm going to have to yell it. And I think we're just going to add a bunch of echo to it. And it's going to just loop on itself and be ridiculous. I think I just have to say it once. Really, really good. Shrine! That might be it. Shrine! Still not in love with it. I need to hire people to do this for me. Alright, um, let's now try to make the effects make it work for me. We're going to distort it. Let's see how that sounds. Shrine! No, not again. All right, good. I think now it sounds nice distorted. We'll add a little bit of bass to it. Lower the volume. Shrine! Perfect. And now, now the, the I think the thing that's going to make this good is the echo. Let's preview the mecha. Shrine! 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 That might be it. I think we're getting really close. Is there anything else that like loops it on itself and makes it sound ridiculous? A reverb. Okay, we'll add reverb first. Shrine! Okay, that's good. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I think wet only. Yeah. Shrine! Now we're talking. Now we're talking. Okay, that's perfect. Add that to it. Perfect. Now we add the echo. And we really make this thing click. Uh, delay fact, decay factor. We're going to make it decay a little bit less. Oh, I think I want this higher. 75. Okay. Okay, wait a second. I don't hate what we've made here. 
I think it could be better, but I don't hate where we're currently sitting. Delay time. What if we did this like 0.75 a second? No, 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 no. One second was pretty much on par. Okay, so that's where we're at. Uh, let me just... Hmm. adding a little bit more extra to it to make it a little longer i wonder if i can now take this and add echo to it <laughs> no no it won't work okay anyways uh actually let's undo undo before we do the echo this is just the wet sound right Train. perfect now before we add anything else to it um we're gonna make it a little longer Dang it, I didn't mean to talk. Uh, we're going to make it a little longer so the echo kind of goes a little longer. Okay. Now we add the echoes. Now I want to do like this whole clip. And now we add echo to it. And now it should... Try. Okay. I think... Let's make this 0.5 so it actually goes far enough away. I think we've made something here. I think we've done it. I'm going to also get rid of the... Oh, oh nope. Getting rid of that click at the end. All right, let's hear what we've made. It's just the clicks. Okay, one second, one second. I have to remove this click from here before we echo it. Now it works. All right, we're almost there. I know. Thank you for sticking with me. I, this will all be worth it. Why is it still clicking? Where is the clicking coming from? Is it from here? Oh, wait. It's right here. Okay. So let's just... Um... <laughs> I'm not good at the software. You know what? Screw it. Let's just do the whole echo and call it a day. Effect, echo. It's good enough. We're going to listen to the clicks. It makes it stupider. All right. One last time. And then we just hit an array of clicks. Perfect. All right. Good. Let's export it. That's perfect. That's basically exactly what I want. Uh, it's obviously going to be called just SHRINE. <laughs> In all caps. Save it to the desktop, which is a great place. Uh, do we need an artist name? Probably not. Alright. SHRINE.MP3. Good. Now let's add it to my thing. All right, now every time we see a shrine, it's gonna go beep beep, but we're gonna say, yeah, let me hear the clicks. Make the volume a little higher. Really make this abuse my eardrums. That's what we're looking for here. I think I'll be good. All right. Um, well, great. We spent about 20 minutes recording a sound effect that I is okay. So let's now open up Zelda. <laughs> I think we did all the pre-work we needed here. Let's open up the game file now. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know what you would think if you just heard me shouting shrine through the doors for like the last half hour. All right, we finally have Zelda running. Okay. Good, let's go get back in there. No video, that's okay. Bam, video. Just give it a second. I know it says no video, but there's video. All right. Oh, uh, okay, I'm seeing a problem. I'll be fine. That's good enough. All right. Cool. So I have no idea where we were at in this game when we left last time. 
but we'll figure it out. I think, yeah, we were on Death Mountain. We just got into this, sh this shrine. Um, and I'm trying to find a way up here. But I need to get the good... <laughs> I need to get something so I don't burn to death. Uh, I'm just going to fast travel like here. I assume someone in town will sell me like a potion or tell me how to cook things that give me resistance to heat to catching on fire. Or alternatively, we can just have enough food where we damage boost through everything. That is also okay. All right. So I am trying to get... Oh, apparently we got this. Wait, wait, wait. Can I just fly from here to Goron City? Because I think if I remember last time, we killed like a lot of turkeys and ostriches and everything we needed to eat. So we might be able just to fly all the way there. And that would work. Actually, I'm looking at it now. There's no shot, right? We had to climb up a mountain. Yeah, okay. Um, cool. Cool. Uh, yeah. <laughs> What's our food supply? Can we just damage boost there? Where's all my... Okay, it's cooked food. Seven drumsticks. Woo! Look at the bits from LS344. Marv Gaming's here too. Hello, hello. I am trying to make my way to Goron City. Which I think is, is over here. And I don't have anything to stop me from catching on fire. So I'm thinking we're just going to damage boost our way there. What another bit. I'm getting pennies thrown at me. It's beautiful. Thank you. Okay, yeah, I'm definitely on fire. All right, we might need to find a better situation than just catching on fire. I don't think this is going to work out for me long term. Yeah, we are on fire. This is very bad. Okay. Uh, we're going to rethink this. Rethink this. Just get out of here. Uh, th this is fine. My bow is on fire. I need, like, my whole body is on fire. There has to be, like, a, a base town or, like, a base village out there that will let me, that will be like, hey, maybe if you keep catching on fire, you could try eating a, a fire lizard. That might stop the burning of your body. Um, so I'm going to go to the stable right here and see if any of the townsfolk seem to have an understanding of not catching on fire. They've lived in this environment longer than I have, so I mean, I feel like they would know. Okay, so this this person is sitting in front of a a cooking area. I'm gonna actually cook these while we're here, because these are nice to cook. They give you like full hearts plus some extras, and we might need them where we're going. Yeah, give me a second, one at a time. I don't think you can just cook them all at once. I think it just gives you more hearts. I'd rather have more meals than more hearts, you know? All right, one more. Then we'll talk to the lady, and she might be able to help me not catch on fire. Not burn to death. And that's the goal. <laughs> Woo! Thanks for the follow. I appreciate it, Marv Gaming. Eventually, I'll have... Here. Here you go. Oh, run it back. Another follow. LS344, appreciate it. Thank you for joining the Cactus Crew. Oh, phenomenal work, you guys. Absolutely breathtaking. All right. I am headed for Goron City. That is exactly where I'm going. Okay, she's already bringing up the fact that I am not dressed for the weather. She can help me out. This is how tourists get a bad rep. By catching on fire and dying. This is why no one comes here. This place is a sheer cliff rather this a sheer cliff after sheer cliff and it gets so hot that past the second checkpoint your body will catch on fire. You know what? Thank you for telling me that. I had no idea before. Now, I definitely didn't try that and catch on fire multiple times. Normally, I wouldn't stop a stranger from heading to their doom, but I kind of like you. Link just has a way with the women. So, I guess I have no choice but to sell you fireproof elixirs. They can protect you from burning air. Even Goron City regulars usually take at least three elixirs with them. It's 60 rupees for one, 110 for two. I guess we'll take all three, right? I did finish recording the shrine. Once we see the, um, if you're, if you just tuned in, I spent the first half hour recording me yelling the word shrine. So every time we hear bleep bleep from the shrine radar, we're just going to, I'm just going to yell at myself 
Uh, we're not gonna do it now. We're gonna surprise everyone. It's gonna be a fun experience for everyone. Oh, they last like six minutes. Nice. All right. That was a lot easier than I thought. I honestly thought there'd be like a whole quest line and a whole thing to do. All right, I'm gonna grab arrows while I'm here because beetles always got good arrows, yeah. And you can never have too many. I know we have 88, but honestly, you can never have too many. Yeah, this fire of elixir is just different. I mean, six minutes does sound insane. What do you think is in there to stop you from catching on fire for six minutes? Imagine like firefighters, instead of like putting on protective gear and like having a hose and all this stuff, they just drink a potion and just run into burning buildings over and over again and just don't feel anything. Do we need an iron sledgehammer? We have a broken torch. Yeah, we can get rid of that. Nice. All right, so um, I think we now can go to here and then we'll just drink an elixir and just walk to Goron City. I, I think we over prepped for this. I think we made too much food. I guess we'll use the food later. We'll defeat some <laughs> Lynels or something. What's an Oompa Loompa? Who? Who? All right, so now we're at the point where we catch on fire. We just walk up this hill, right? Yeah, it's, that the path is right, what? Right there? Is that a path? It looks like a path. All right, let's get our elixir in our body. Let's down one of these bad boys. All right. Um, I probably also need to not get a bow out because my bow will catch on fire because it's made of wood. And my bow can't drink an elixir, only I can. Have you not read Charlie and the Chocolate Factory? I have seen both movies, both the original and with Gene Wilder, as well as the Johnny Depp remake of it. I have not... I've read the book, I feel like, but not... Shrine! We have found a shrine. That is all we care about now. <laughs> I got so excited. I know what an Oompa Loompa is. I didn't know what you meant. I don't know what you were referring to was an Oompa Loompa. I like what we made with our shrine sound effect. I think that sounds pretty good. I don't hate it. Is this not the way? Oh, no. I think I jumped off the edge a little prematurely there. That was a bold move. Uh, where is this shrine? Oh, God. All right. You're a master at screaming. That is an art form. It's. I have a hard time screaming. I mean, you saw, it obviously took me 20 minutes to record that terrible soundbite. So, I mean, not good at screaming by at all. It's definitely a learned skill. You gotta practice that. Alright, now where is this shrine? I heard it go beep beep, and more importantly, I heard that great voice in the back of my Oh, wait, wait, wait. We can just, I forgot we had Rivali's Gale. We can just get up all these things so much faster. Also, I probably don't need the sledgehammer. Probably something a little bit... Faster to swing will be beneficial. You recorded the voice you shoved in my Discord on the way home. You know, I couldn't tell. It sounded like you were running from some trouble of some kind. And <laughs> we're just like, that was a cry for help more than anything else. That's what it felt like. Alright. Now, okay, we're gonna lock in on this. And I'm gonna look around before I jump off the cliff. I'm just gonna kill some keys because I don't want to catch on fire. Uh, I know we, we have plenty of elixirs. Okay. Oh, it's right there. Okay. We'll get this. Easy. We have found the shrine. And I'm okay wasting the time on the elixir because, again, we have three of them. And I don't think it's that far to go. We're pretty high up the mountain already. She said, you know, ex experienced travelers take three. I think we make do with you know, two. Let's check this shrine out. As long as it's not a gyro shrine, we should be good to go. Alright, let's see what we got going on here. It is a non-gyro shrine? So we should be able to handle this. Alright, looks like our goal... Where are we trying to get? Let's start with that. Right there. Alright. 
Looks like we're gonna need what is a gyro shrine? It's it's one of the shrines where you have to have a Wii gamepad or a switch and move the actual gamepad around to manipulate a platform. And I don't have a gamepad or anything like that, so I'm not able to utilize those. We just have to leave them. All right, so we got to get there, not get killed by this big pendulum thing. Are these made of metal? No, but we can stasis them. It looks like they go up and down. All right. Cool. So, how do I get up? <laughs> there is a chest there as well. I don't... All right. We're, we're an adult. We can figure this out. I, I'm an adult. Is there a button? <laughs> Where Where's the starting point here? Like, I don't even know how to get up there. I mean, I can't move anything. There's fire here. I can't, like, lift these out of their cell. Because there's a rooftop on there, right? Yeah, yeah, okay. So if we can get in here, that will get us access to these blocks, which will be great for getting to the shrine. Um, so realistically, we just need to... Let's start shooting arrows that are on fire. That's made of wood. Alright, that's on fire. I'm hoping there's like a key in there. Maybe. Oh! Oh! The big brain on this guy. Hell yeah. Alright, key in here. Small key. Perfect. Alright, alright, alright. The rest of this should be pretty easy. 25k for a game? I don't know, you spent, what, like 10k? I mean, look at look at how long it took you to get that 10,000 boot bucks. And you're thinking that you can make 25k? I mean, it's gonna take a while. But, you know, if you put your mind to it, anything's possible. Just like me in this shrine. And I don't know what the intended route is, but we're just gonna build a little Jenga tower out of these blocks, then bomb this wall, and finish the shrine. I can climb that. I can swore that I can get up these. Why did I think I can get up these? Can I honestly not? I mean, I can get up the first one. But am I unable to get up? Oh, no. Ooh, baby. All right. Let's bomb this first. All right, we can get that done. Okay, now that's out of the way. Now let's do this. I think I think just by good placement of these blocks, we should be able to make this happen. So I'm thinking like something like this. Yeah, perfect. <laughs> nice. We got a shrine. <laughs> Got a little excited with my sound bites. Da -da -da -da. Beautiful. I guess we don't really need a sound effect for that. It kind of has its own sound effect. But I'm okay with it. Oh, I said I'm still taking lunch money. That's not accurate. We are actually... Uh, I don't know. What's a good title for this? Lava Lizard. You guys know what that means. It, it's fine. Oh, we're gonna need to eat something. Uh, let's see here. I need to switch a bow to nothing. Am I on fire? I am on fire. Let's eat another... Actually, let's just travel back to here. Whew. I think the time is worth... T the time is worth making you play getting over it. Whoo! Road to Zelda. Dude, I don't want to tell people I'm making an OnlyFans for Zelda. That's just a blatant lie. That's not accurate. I don't have the <laughs> I don't have the rights to Zelda where I can make an OnlyFans for her. And honestly, someone probably already has. If you're looking for a Zelda OnlyFans, it's out there. You don't need me to do that. Alright. Let's now go to Goron City. We wasted one of our elixirs doing that shrine, which I think was worth it. 
We got three orbs. Wrote a getting to Zelda's OnlyFans? Uh. Bro, I don't think it's like that. She's a nice lady. She's also maybe like 10. I don't know what the- I don't know what anyone's ages in this game. Like, we just- I learned that the princess from the Gerudo region is 12. Like, she's in charge of a whole town. She's a 12-year-old. I don't know how old Link is. Like, yeah, he's the champion of Hyrule, but like... It seems like they're putting kids in positions of power a lot. So, I mean, I don't want to say that he has to be of age. So let's- we're gonna try to not sexualize characters in Zelda. Um... Do we just leave? I think we can just leave. I don't have an arrow that can shoot him. I guess, yeah, technically speaking, Link is... I guess it, Link and Zelda are over 100. On paper. If you're gonna get technical about it. If you wanna lawyer up and <laughs> talk that way. That is technically correct. Um, I don't know what the route is. It looks like they want me to go that way. Yeah, this seems to be the path to Goron City. I'm gonna try staying high, though. That seems to work out most of the time. So, I'm just gonna climb up this, and then we can just sail down nice and easy and not have to worry too much about it. Oh, Link, you can climb this. Yeah, yeah, it's flat enough. Just give him enough speed, he can get up this. Oh, this is gonna be easy. Oh, yeah. Oh, heck yeah. Alright. Um... Yeah. Challenge completed. Oh, baby. All right. All right, Jay. All right. I guess we're doing the cooking stream. All right. We have completed our cooking challenge. Let's go. Woo! Cooking. All right. So I will work on setting a date. I will work on buying the correct headwear and apron for our cooking stream. And we'll work on that. Um, by donating, by the way, uh, Jay to Kuzumaki, you now have to- you give me a date. <laughs> I'll tell you what, I'll tell you what. Alright, so, the Kuzumaki's my mod. He also is my co-op gaming partner for a lot of our co-op games. So I'll tell you what, the Cuphead DLC comes out on June 30th. Me and Jay played through the initial Cuphead and had a great time doing it. We were talking about doing a speed run of it. So I think it would work really, really well if we choose a weekend around June 30th. We can do Cuphead on, one, Cuphead on one day, and we'll do pizza on a different day. Also, what the hell is going on? How do I get around this? So I think that's the plan. I'm going to have to eat some. Do we have Mifa? We do have Mifa right now, and that's good. <laughs> that goes without saying, of course, of course. Alright, so I think that would be... I think we'll just go for that. But we'll work on setting up the date on an off time. But yeah, I'll put it in the Discord channel. I'll let you guys know when that's happening. We'll dress the part. It'll be a fun time for everyone. We'll make pizza. And we'll put it in the shape of a heart. And it'll be gorgeous. Alright, let's take a look at this lizard. God, he's gorgeous. He's got the fire hands and everything. I honestly cannot remember what the kind of intro quest is for him. I know it's we do it with a Goron, but I can't remember what we do. Do we just shoot him? Do we have to stop him? Do we, like, throw rocks at him? Yeah, Jay's never been on stream before. He's been an elusive voice in the background while you look at me. But, yeah, he'll be on stream. You get to have two of us. So select, yeah, it's it's gonna be a special weekend. I think it's gonna be a fun time. I think we're gonna have a good time doing it. Alright, there is a shrine nearby, as you can hear. So we'll have to hunt that down. It's probably right ahead of us. It's probably at like the top of Goron City. Oh, we also need to get fire armor. Yeah, we will not survive forever. Um, using the, <laughs> using the, the potion. We need to actually get a, <laughs> something to stop us catching on fire. It is still very hot here. I want to at least get this shrine. Where is it? Is it up there? Because we want to be able to fast travel. Nope, this isn't right. This is not a shrine. 
Um, can I do this? That's as high as we go? Alright. Uh, I'm just assuming it's gonna be up here. Yeah, 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 this is it. This is it for sure. Alright, cool. So once we have the shrine unlocked, it's a fast travel location, and we can just... Even if we start catching on fire, we don't have to climb up here ever again. So let's go ahead and knock this shrine out. The Shea Mosaic one. I don't know how to pronounce that. Link's still looking clean as heck in his Gerudo gear. I would put him in the, um... I really liked the Rito gear with the cool... Okay. What is this? Um... Oh. So, okay, so this is something I learned from watching other people play the game. The This is intending you to burn this on fire, drop the barrel, and then place it on the switch. But I learned you can actually just stasis a switch. <laughs> okay, I... I now he stasis the switch. Whew. Hello, Bethany. Hope you're doing swell. We're back on the Zelda train. We're getting our fourth Divine Beast. That's a big Stone Smasher. All right, we can probably find a way. We can probably find something in item in our inventory to get rid of for a big... St okay, this is like a baby Stone Smash. This is a Cobble Crusher. Yeah, we can drop that. Let's get the big, big boy. Yeah, that's power right there. All right, we got a water wheel and uh, guardians. Uh, how do we want to take out the guardians? Do I have anything I can throw at them? No. We just parry them. Uh, I guess we can use arrows now. Sure. Let's just parry him to death. What? That guy wants to... Okay, I can't... Okay, we're just gonna shoot him. Alright, good. Alright, that, that was a lot easier. Now let's get our ancient gear. These shafts. We need gears. Gears would be really, really good because that's what we're missing to buy, like, the ancient armor and whatnot. Guardian sword. Do I... Guardian sword is 30. I don't even think I have a... Oh, this is... Oh, guardian sword is 20. Ah, eh, whatever. I like the Guardian Sword. It's cool, and it's blue, and it's awesome. I don't like the Lizo Boomerang. Alright, some money. Can't wait for that pizza. I, th I think June 30th. Timeline around there. That's If you're looking for a pizza, I think that's the time to do it. Um, That's magnetic. Why can't... <laughs> All these things. I, I Dude, this, the, the whole landscape of this game is so good. Have you tried the inactive guardians for some? I have not. I haven't honestly been putting too much effort into finding the parts. It hasn't been a big concern of mine. Because we're really get we're doing pretty well in the game so far. Where do I put this ball? But yeah, I think that's a good place to go get some. The inactive guardians. There's litter all over the place. Ooh, a chest. Yeah, we can go near Hyrule Castle, and they have a bunch of guardians kind of sitting there. Both active and in inactive. Both alive and deceased. If I was a ball, where would I want to go? <laughs> oh, is it up there? Oh! Wait, wait, does this also open that gate? No. Okay. Where's my ball at? You get loads of stuff from them. Yeah, they drop a bunch of gear. Like, the big guardians, they don't stop. They got screws. They got gears. They got shafts. They got, they, they got everything. All right, so it looks like they want me to put the ball over here. Why? Oh, it wants to spin the water wheel. Got it. Okay, I don't know why... <laughs> Dang it. Uh, I'm trying to get this gear like Metal Gear. Yes, but also no. Oh, dang it. I can't get that from there. All right. We got to find a way to open this thing. I'm surprised you're not playing Zelda Gate. You would play along at the same time, but it's Stardew Valley Day. Hey, I understand. Stardew Valley, you got to get your stuff in. You got to keep going. A lot to do in Stardew. I have like two years in a Stardew Valley file. I just couldn't end up... I, I kind of got bored after a while. 
I got married, you know, I settled down, and I just kind of retired on my farmland. <laughs> and I was like, yeah, that seems like a good ending for my character. They've accomplished what they wanted to see, you know. It is very relaxing. I just get, oh, I don't like repetitive tasks. I had the same problem with Animal Crossing, where I liked it a lot. I liked getting all the fish and the... And like the fossils and getting all my fruit and selling them to the store. But after you do that over and over and over again, I'm like, all right, I'm good now. Um, what do they want to do? <laughs> That'll work. All right, that's a shrine, baby. You prefer it? Yeah, I think Stardew Valley I definitely liked better than Animal Crossing because I liked, I think I liked the cave. I liked the Minecraft cave. And you got to go fight enemies and you kept going like level 100 stuff. You had, to, yeah, I feel like you have a little more to do in Stardew Valley than you have in Animal Crossing. <laughs> Which is nice. I didn't, I feel like Animal Crossing would be like, all right, I sold all my food. I guess it's time to sleep for the day or just go fishing until the day is over. But I think Stardew Valley had more to do. Like every day I was like, you know, whoever you're trying to impress the day and get their like their like levels higher. You'd be like, alright, we gotta build we gotta build uh bake a cake for Yeah, I can't remember anyone's name. We gotta bake a cake today, or we gotta go do something today. I uh oh god. Alright, no bow. I think I need to eat something. Let's eat another okay, we need one more potion. We need a potion. Where's our potions at? Here? Here. Alright. Now, we only have six minutes. We need to find a way to get our fire resistance up again. We need to get fire armor, which I think someone sells here, or maybe there's a quest line for it. I cannot remember. This guy will probably help me out. He looks like he knows what's going on. It's Bluto. Drat, that blasted Rudania. With Rudania running wild recently, Death Mountain's eruptions have gotten real. I noticed. I noticed. I got hit by a lot of rocks on the way up here. Did you see Rodania stomping around up there on that mountain? They say that a hundred years ago it actually used to protect our people from harm, but that was then, and this is now. Now all it does is mess up our mining operations. We're all suffering because it's stopping us from doing business. I can't tell you how many times we used that cannon to chase off that fiend, but it always comes back. Oh! <laughs> Yow wow. Ugh, it's just some back pain. Wait, who are you? <laughs> I see. So you came all this way to pay respects to me. I like you already, brother. I love the Gorons. They're always so, like, inviting to new people. They always just seem to vibrate with you. Well, my name's Bluto. <laughs> <coughs> I'm the great Goron boss who's fearsome enough to silence a crying child. Wait. <laughs> What does that mean? Oh, they're saying that if a kid is crying, he can come into scene, the child will see him and just stop crying out of pure fear and intimidation. Or also, if there's any kids that are not crying, he can make them cry. So basically, children crying is like an on-off switch. And he shows up, they just flick to the opposite <laughs> state. So if there's a room full of kids, half are crying and half are not crying, they'll just switch positions. <laughs> It's got a very unique skill set, Bluto. I, I respect the hell out of that. I was planning to drive off Rudania like I always do, but then this blasted back pain flared up out of nowhere. Mm. That blasted Unibo. When will he return? Unibo was a young Goron who helped me drive off Rodania. He went to grab painkillers for me back in the abandoned North Mine and hasn't come back yet. Mm. Slacker. I bet he's off somewhere wasting time. Yeah, I've seen Unibo. Let him know I'm looking for him. All right. Do you know where I can stop catching on fire, sir, Bluto? I really am tired of being on fire. Okay, that's that's all he knows. There. Okay, maybe in the shop. Is there a shop around here? This is a potion shop. Um, they. Do you sell armor here? All right. Um, are these fire elixirs? Go run spice. That's not. I need. We only have five minutes. I need... <laughs> there we go. Okay, that's a clothing shop. They probably sell fireproof armor there, right? Oh, wait. <laughs> Bro, I thought this kid was a drumstick. From a distance, I saw his, his bun and his head, and my mind went to... That's a turkey drumstick right there. Let me pick up that food. And then I got closer and it moved, and I... <laughs> All right. 
Perfect, perfect. How much does this cost? I need 1300 2000 Oh, jeez. Alright, we might have to sell some things. You have the proof of standing in the ripped and shredded armor shop. Uh, yeah, we need to sell some things. Alright, these aren't worth anything, are they? Yeah, not enough to sell. Oh, no. Um, guys, we don't have the... the oh, man, we just don't have enough money. Do we need to go farm money? Or do they give me this armor for doing good things? Can I buy, like, some armor? Or can I just buy... Do I have to buy all of it? Because I do not have that much money laying around. I mean, here. Do they buy cooked food? 30, 25. Ah, it's not really worth it. Okay, let's sell everything we got. Let's see where we're sitting at. We can at least now buy the pants and the shirt. You like lizards? It's fireproof. Ah. Some princes are nice. They'll they'll buy my armor, <laughs> which is a little weird. I don't want to sell this. I mean, I guess we don't need all of it, but like, we're not selling the switch shirt. No way. We can sell the rock salt. I mean, it's ten rupees, but <laughs> all right. <sighs> I want to buy. Let's go get the, let's get the, you know, the starting armor. We'll get the pants and the shirt. I, it has flame guard. Maybe just the two of these will be enough to get started. All right. The helmet is so expensive. Nope. It's, oh God. Okay. We need to go make some money. Uh, does anyone know the best way of making money in this game? We're gonna have to come back. We, we pretty much can't advance without having some additional funds. Link's pretty broke. Um, let's see. What was a big sell? I guess monster parts was pretty good uh, for getting money. Invest in... How d <laughs> You want me to go to the bank? Leave my five rupees in there? Just leave the game running? Come back to it five years from now? And then <laughs> just reap the rewards. Maybe we can do the time travel thing, but in Zelda. All right. The finance. Yeah, yeah. We can we can scan the system. Do some short selling. <sighs> monster, monster parts, and if you find them black geodes in the sides of cliff, they give good stuff. Okay. We're gonna have to leave the hot area. Okay, let's do some exploring instead. Alright, looks like we have this big area over here that we haven't gone through yet. Let's just go... We'll get the map for that area, and we'll take out any enemies we see, and hopefully get 2,000 rupees worth of equipment. We'll be on the lookout for geodes on the side of the road we can blow up. Any, Really anything we can sell. We're going full money mode. All we care about is money. Link has really transitioned from an adventurer in Hyrule to someone who literally just cares about having money. Um, looks like there's a Bokoblin camp right there. They probably will turn into monster parts. <laughs> That's good. Also, where is the map area for this region? I'm not sure. Oh, there's a... Oh, he'll drop uh, rupees if I kill him. Ah, he's faster than I am. Alright. Alright, hit him, hit him, hit him. Nice. Alright. We can't sell um, equipment, which is weird. If we could sell, like, bows and arrows, we could really rack in some dough. Uh, now then. Alright, there's a shrine nearby. We'll also be getting that shrine done. Alright, so we got some big boys in here, but is that a black bow coblin? Yeah, it is. But I think we should be able to just kill him. Yeah. Yeah, that'll work. Alright, now let me take your parts. Okay. You're... 
Oh, my bow broke. That's fine. Actually, I think the Great Eagle Bow might be a little bit overkill. Alright. Alright, you gonna... There it is. Alright. Let's go smack... Okay, that was not what I wanted to do. Thunderblade will be good. <laughs> Alright, let's reap his organs for money. Good, good, good. Moblin Guts go for a lot in the black market. Also, that Boko Bat is pretty nice. Um, I guess if we really wanted to, we could use some of these magnetic boxes to beat people with. Uh, okay, there's another m Moblin over there. We'll, yeah, we're just going to clean out this whole area. Let's get good at uh, combat. Nice. Dude, this Thunderblade just does work. It does absolutely pounds them. Um, I guess we can also break these bad boys open and see if they got any good stuff inside. Or be disappointed in their lack of good stuff inside. Hey, that's six bucks right there. That's money in your pocket. That's nothing to turn your nose up at. Uh, do these guys have a chest or anything? I don't know. Come back here. Got... No. <laughs> Gotta go mod for a little bit? Don't worry. We're literally just doing money. <laughs> no story stuff. Nothing too interesting. We're just going to run around trying to collect funds for our investments. You almost had a heart attack. Just in general. Just by vibing. I, hey, I understand. I've been there. And you're, you got a heart attack? From restarting your lap, you got scared that your computer asked you for a password. I feel like that should be pretty commonplace. I, for anyone who uses a computer. <laughs> you know? <laughs> like, I don't feel like that's out of line for your computer to be like, Hey, I just want you to authenticate yourself and make sure that you're not a robber. What pass- Do you not have a password for your computer? You just let anyone log into that thing? You gotta lock that thing down, baby. Only you're allowed into your computer. No one else. Don't let all those people in. Lock it down. There's bees over there. Are bees worth money? Can we sell bees? I've never asked that question before. I mean, I guess you could buy bees online. So, I mean, someone's got to buy bees, right? There's got to be a market for bees. Um, I don't know why, but I feel like I want to go to the top of this. This, fa this feels like the place to be. Okay, we got some more moblin or bokoblins down there. Uh, it doesn't seem like there's anything obvious to take them all out. Oh, perfect. Actually, I lied. This will work. Yeah, that does work. No, 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 no. All right. Before they can get there. Okay. Why is there stuff on fire? Alright. Good, good. Nice. A restless cricket! We got a cricket! Let's go! Someone's gotta buy crickets. There's gotta be an open market for bugs out there. I feel like someone in the Zelda universe really enjoys bugs. Um, we can't sell tools. Where's, where's the carcasses at? There's some carcasses. Alright, anything else? No. Um, I guess we can go in this chest. Maybe it's like a rupee or a sapphire or an opal. Some good. Topaz. We can sell that. All right. I'm going to run to the bathroom right quick. Um, here. You can listen to Wooded Kingdom.
All right, I hope everyone had fun. Not devil triggered. Actually, okay. Um, I didn't bring this up earlier, but I am looking for... Uh, I need to make a playlist. Enter... What computer is this? Oh. What? Give it a second. What? What computer do you run? Why is that, like... I've never seen that before. That's not like a Windows 10 asking for a password. That's something crazy. Insane. Um, that being said, yeah, that looks like that looks like a broken. That's that's crazy looking. All right. Um. Doo -doo 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 -doo. Uh, while I'm here, I'm just gonna make a new channel in the Discord. Um, music. To add. All right. Um, if you have music to add to the playlist, I'm trying to get a good like repository of music so we can like, you know, just have it available. So if you have any good songs, I know Whoopi said one earlier. I'm gonna put that on there. But for right now, you can just dump them in there. All right. Back to getting money. We got a good little collection here. This is gonna be worth something good. And that topaz was good. Uh, so let's go hunt down this shrine right quick. Get, get down. Looks like it is on top of this big pillar. Um, how high does this go? Pretty high, but I think it's still raining, right? Is it raining? Is Link sweating or is he covered in rainwater? It looks like it's not raining, so we should be able to climb up here like this, which is good. Can you stand on any of these? No? Alright, we can make it up here though. Thank god we got some stamina from earlier. If the shrine's not up here, we at least have a good angle to go find it. It's around here somewhere, you know? We'll get there eventually. I mean, Link's got a lot of armor on. I mean, have you seen this fire armor? It's got to weigh 50, 60, you know, kilograms. <laughs> Alright. Shrine. Where the hell would a shrine be? Any music I add is in the rock genre. That's fine. Um, if you make it non DMCA, that'd be perfect. So things from video games is probably a good, are good to add. But um, if it's just standard music, I'll get copyright claim for that. So we can't play that. Keep that in mind. Where was this shrine at? Is it like in the wall? It might be in that wall right there. Yeah, I can see the shrine thing going off. All right, let's blow these things up. Okay, I didn't mean, oh, <laughs> oh God. Sorry, Link. Sorry, sorry. Didn't mean to do that to you. Here, have a turkey dinner on me. Woo. Yeah, 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 okay, so there's little rocks here for us to climb. So this is probably a pretty good place to go find what we're looking for. Also, why are these keys down here? It'd be a lot cooler if they weren't. Oh, Link, where the hell are you? Uh, the camera's very zoomed in. This is fine. Alright, you can't add the entire OST either, you know. Pick your favorite song and just send me that. I don't need, I don't need to parse through a three hour long original soundtrack. You know, really try to get the cream of the crop. The best of the best. Flint probably sells for money. Oh my god. Um, we're gonna try this bomb again. We're gonna be a little... Okay, that's just rock salt. That's worth nothing. It's worth two rubies. Um, okay. They're like four minutes. That's fine. Yeah, just... I don't... Oh, don't get hit by the bats. It's just I don't need the whole album. That's kind of what I'm meaning. Okay, like, there, you know what I mean? If you go on YouTube and search, like, Metal Gear Rising OST, they give you the whole soundtrack. They don't give you, um, like, one song. That's all I meant. You know, I don't need everything. Alright, uh, Ling. You can sit here. No! No, okay, this is fine. Just find an area where you can stand, buddy. Okay. We can make this happen. I think uh, we have a lot going on. I'm not going to lie. We got the keys. I'm just trying to bomb this one little area. No. God. You had it. Golly. Okay. 
We got this. We'll figure this out. I'm sure there's an easier way to do it. Probably from up there. Uh, but I'm pretty stubborn. Alright, fine. Fine. We will go up there. And we'll throw a bomb. Now it's raining. Oh, Link. Link. Linky boy. This isn't hard. You just need to bomb this small... This one thing. You gotta do one thing. Okay. Okay. I guess we're gonna climb up again. Where? What? Who? Get out of here, Keese. All right, we <laughs> actually keys might be good for for money as well. I didn't even think of that. Okay, let's go collect keys parts. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Where did they go? Take key swings. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's all coming together. Everything's worth money. Everything can be sold. Everything has a price. Link. Can you honestly just not get up that? Do I need to, like, jump the way? What am I supposed to do? Like, he won't climb. I know there's a shrine in there. I'm positive. Um. Okay. To the- Oh my- Link! You just- It's so close! It's not hard! I mean, I, it, obviously in real life this would be extremely challenging, but like, Link's an amazing rock climber. This shouldn't be a big concern for him. Ooh, we got here. Okay. Um, can we actually screw it? Let's just bomb arrow it. Bomb arrows don't work in the rain. <sighs> Good thing those aren't super expensive and hard to come by. That would be really awkward. All right. I don't think we can climb to the next kind of like threshold here. Unless Link can like stand here. He can. Okay. Okay, it looks like if we just kind of stand put here. Ah, okay, there is an area we can stand. If we can just, this is such a complicated thing. Oh God. Now you have paprika chips. Now it's good. Before the paprika chips, it was garbage. I understand. I I I, I can get with that. Okay, we need to get our H our our stamina back. All right, we just need to climb up there. All right, we're making progress. No. Okay. If I can just keep walking in that one little area. One, two, three, yeet. One, two, three, four, yeet. I don't know what to do. I honestly don't understand what, like, I don't know if it's possible to do this in the rain. I know there's a shrine there. Um, can we, okay, the rain stopped, good. All right, before it starts up again, let's get up there. Oh, and let's bomb this shrine open. Jeez Louise. Link, you're making- This rain just ruined- Oh, rock salt, though. Rain just ruined everything. Alright. There it is. Oh, thank goodness. Whew. We made it. So before the pre chips is mid- under Yeah, I, I, I understand. I see where your values lie. Oh. Oh, the whole shrine was just finding it in the wall. Nice. Free chest. Perfect. That's exactly what we need is more money. Let's go. Hell yeah. Hell yeah. Got another spirit orb. That's enough to get a whole nother, um... Yeah, we have enough to get another heart or another stamina bar. Too many arrows? What are you talking about too many arrows? You can never have Arrows are the most overpowered thing in this whole game. If you had infinite arrows, you could do almost anything. Like, the game would be over. Having too many arrows is a great thing to have. That's that's a problem that I will take any day of the week. No, 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 no. It's fine. It's fine. 
I invested in arrows. I didn't buy too many. I made an investment in arrows. It will pay off later. It's a long-term strategy. I'm not about the short-term gains. I'm looking at the long-term. You got to think about where you're going to be five years from now, 10 years from now. When you take on Ganon, do you want to be the person with 500 rupees in your chest? Or do you want to be the person with 5,000 arrows ready to take him down and save all of Hyrule? You know? That's the mentality you got to have out here. Also, we probably don't need our Thunder Blade for this. Oh, we got some good weapons. All the mo They spawned back! Perfect! Perfect! Phenomenal! Nice. Alright, um, I'm gonna get that- that Thunder Blade seemed really helpful. Nice. Uh, we can just shoot him to death now. Perfect. Alright, now let's take his organs and sell them on the black market. We're not gonna sell them yet, but we will later. Um, alright. You, sir, you look like you have organs you wanna sell on the black market. How about... You just give them to me, and I'll take good care of them. Oh, he had a lot of good organs. Yeah, that was good. That was a good find right there. All right. What about your friend over here? He got good organs? I'm pretty sure all the Moblins are on the <laughs> are on the donor list. I'm pretty sure they're okay with what's going on here. They understand this is for a higher cause. It's about me making money. And they're okay with it. Um, Can I beat him to death with this? I mean, <laughs> yeah, but like not very effectively. It is kind of funny though. All right, that finally failed. There we go. Perfect. Now let's check out those organs. Oh, he's got some good stuff in there. All right. I'm trying to think if there's any other clever way I can defeat these guys. Because, I mean, they got a metal, bunch of metal boxes laying around, but they really don't seem very good at... What if we just throw them way above his head? That kind of worked. What about this one? Oh. All right, come here. Oh, now you see me. All right, good. Let's check out... Oh, wait, 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 wait. Where are your organs at? Bud. You can't- I can't collect your organs if you're still alive. There we go. Perfect. Alright. Um, I'm also gonna open this chest up here. You never know. That could have more money in it. It feels- <laughs> I've honestly not been looking for money at all in this entire game, and now it's all I care about. Alrighty. Money, 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 money. Money! Let's go! Hell yeah. What was that guy on YouTube about the financial stuff called? Gary Vanerchuk? I don't... That There's a lot of people on YouTube spouting things about money. <laughs> it's the most, like, unspecific thing I can think of other than, like, what's that guy on YouTube that does the games? You know, what's that person out there doing the gaming? Just... I, I can't do anything with that information. All right. Uh, I'm just going to assume that somewhere in this area is a tower we can activate and along the way We will again keep murdering all of the moblins bokoblins and other Indigenous creatures to this land as well as looking for our shrines So we're entering as some sort of forest. He's really popular He sounds like a great guy. I'm sure he makes very really smart financial decisions I'm sure he's set for life. He's got his 401k figured out. And that's... <laughs> I don't know. I just... Like, what... Is that good content? Is that, like, entertaining to watch someone be good with money? Or is videos, like... Are they, are they like, how to be good at spending money? Or are they, like... Hey, what happens when you invest $500,000 into Bitcoin for two hours? Find out next. Bones? A Leviathan? My theory is that leviathans of ancient times went extinct due to an extended ice age. My theory is that leviathans of ancient time went extinct due to a violent volcanic eruption. My theory is that leviathans of ancient times went extinct due to a sudden cal cal cataclysmic drought long ago. Oh, pardon me, I've gotten ahead of myself. Why did the leviathans go extinct? That is the question we scientists are trying to answer. 
However, we haven't yet located Leviathan remains or stuck in theories. We have a general idea where we're in Elden Mountains, Northeast. Oh, okay. Do you guys want to go on a Leviathan hunt? They're willing to pay 300 rupees for Leviathan bones. And I mean, that's... That's nothing to turn your nose of that. That might be the way we get some of this funds. Just to, uh... We're gonna use these guys almost like patrons of, like, ancient times to fund our armor to be a better soldier. You know, like how knights had a patron of, like, you know, royal family that would pay... For their equipment and their horse keep all of that we're gonna do the same thing but our patrons are gonna be scientists who are hunting down leviathan bones also i don't know what a leviathan is and i'm actually pretty curious to see what we're talking about here in my mind a leviathan is a really really big like worm and i don't know why all right let's go save this guy from bokoblin then we're gonna go hunt for leviathans i think that'll be fun no you're who is yelling at that all right, let's see if he can take on him. Okay. He is not doing well. That's a black book goblin. I mean, that's that's a... Oh, you're coming after me? I, re I really wish you didn't. You're Mungander. I, <laughs> I don't know what that means. I don't know what you're saying. You're speaking gibberish. English only up in my chat. God, you mean sell that? We can probably sell that. That's worth money. All we're caring about is the financial value of the things we're getting. If someone hands me a monster potion, it's not about the monster potion. It's about the money you get from turning that monster potion into a sales burden. Mm. You're selling it to them. Alright. Let's let's do a Leviathan side quest. We get 300 rupees for it, and it's kind of fun. Um, so let's go to our adventure log. Leviathan bones. And do they just pop up on my map? They absolutely do not. Is there a definition of it? Leviathan bones are apparently found in Elden to the northeast, Urba to the northwest, and Gerudo to the southwest. Wow, that's not very specific. Um, Elden. Okay, that's the fire region. Yeah, we can't okay so i don't think we can do the leviathan side quest yet because we can't hang out in the <laughs> we're unable to live in the fire region as of right now we can do the cold regions we got that locked down fire regions we're not there yet so then we're gonna continue just okay probably don't need to use my oh we turned the blue boy into yellow boys all right that chew jelly is actually worth a good amount it's five per chew jelly that's a pretty good uh value right there All right, I'm looking for this map, right? Like it should be, I guess it could be this way. Probably, I don't know. Uh, wolves probably aren't worth that much. I mean, how much is a wolf pelt worth? You, you're worth money, right? Yes, yes, octo balloons and an octotorth tentacle. I'll take that all day. Nice blue axe. Thank you. I stole it off a of guardian. Korok seed! Yeah. Probably upgrade our inventory eventually. Alright, let's get some food while we're here. Pick up some mushrooms. Acorns. These wolves attack me. They seem to just yell and then run away. But the music plays like it's intense. Like, they're all just sprinting away from me. I don't feel like this is a threat. But I'm not sure. Hard to say. Let's... Okay, where... Oh, perfect. Chew jelly. That is like 20 rupees right there. That... Oh. 25 rupees. Um, let's eat. Alright, so we're going to continue looking for the map. Also, again, shrines as well as killing basically every enemy to get monster parts to sell to shopkeepers in order to make enough money to buy a cool lava helmet, which we will then use to go take down an ancient divine beast. That's kind of the process we're working to right now. 
Whoa! Wait, is that Lost Woods? No, it can't be, right? I actually have no idea where Lost Woods is. I guess that's the whole point, it's lost. Um, we're kind of getting up here in the mountains, though. Is that it? That is it. Okay. There's our map. It's over there. Uh, I don't know why. I want to take whatever these things are. They Oh, spicy peppers. Hell yeah. Don't know why I got excited about spicy peppers. <laughs> but I was very excited there for a second. Alright. Let's just yeet ourselves off the top of this mountain and kind of zoom over to that, that map tower thing it's so nice not having to be concerned about being too cold anymore we have the best cold weather gear ever all right looks like is that a water is that water i think we can make it across this actually that's lost woods okay never mind we actually can't that is lost woods okay good we don't have enough hearts to do the master sword I'm thinking we do the Divine Beast, then do the Master Sword, and then I want to do some fun little side quests before we take on Cannon. But yeah, we'll go around. Ooh. You probably drop some good things, don't you? <laughs> Dang it. Okay. Alright, let's get down to business. He also has swords on his... Okay. I think we have enough arrows just to do this like this. Um, and if our equipment breaks, we can just steal one of these. Oh, he's blocking his eyeball. Oh, he's dead. Okay. Cool. I can't use these. Like, none of these are better than what I got. Oh, baby. He drops monster bits. Woo, baby. A Hinox toenail? That's gotta be worth big bucks in the black market. A Hinox tooth? You can't find these anywhere. Oh, that was a good find. That was a good find for our money-making expenditures. That was nice to see. All right. So, yeah. We'll keep on going. Good Hinox find. Now, let's we can take a look at our inventory. Like, we got, so, oh, four toenails? Oh, we can, we can do a lot with that. <laughs> I actually had, like, an... I don't know if it was an ingrown toenail or what. It was like I cut my toenails and for some reason it got like kind of weirdly infected. So I had to go clean. That's not important. We're not going to go into that. I, I had a, in a fun morning. We'll leave it at that. Everything's fine now if you were curious. You know, it's um. So sometimes when you cut your nails, uh, like the edge of it, like it's kind of like caught like between your skin I, it's hard it's kind of hard to explain it never happened to you and like the way you get rid of it is basically by like all right i don't want to go into you gotta gotta carve it out <laughs> it's not it, it's it making it seem more intense than it is i basically just cut my nails again my one toenail again to make sure it didn't hurt anymore is probably the easiest way i can explain it it's fine now we're all good my toenails are all safe Um, uh, yeah, I don't... Yeah, so this is a good thing to get now, just because when we come back for Lost Woods, we'll already be at a good place. We'll have our our tower unlocked, and we'll be fast travel there, and just kind of zoom into Lost Woods. I can't remember how Lost Woods even works. Um, uh, yeah, I, I cannot remember. Looks like we have a path right around here, though, so that should make this pretty easy. Also, there's Hyrule Castle. We'll be getting there eventually. Not anytime today. But we'll eventually make our way there. It's got a little bit of a goop problem at the moment. But we'll clean that up. We'll make it We'll make it livable. I think we'll do an open concept type environment. Maybe some new fixtures in the kitchen and the bathrooms. Really liven the place up. And get it on the market at a good asking price. I think that's our goal for the game, if I'm not mistaken. Yeah, get the feng shui looking good. Yeah, yeah. Align the furniture in a way that all my chakras are aligned. And, you know, just just, just make it nice. Make it livable. I don't want to make a castle. I want to make a home. You know, it's not about having a house. You have as big a house as you want. But until you have a home, no one wants to live there. 
We're absolutely not going to Hyrule right now. That is... I, I, like, we could go take on Ganon, but, like... I feel like it's not as much fun if you don't have all of the Divine Beasts and the Hylian Shield and all of this and the Master Sword. I think it's a lot more fun when you do it, when you have all that stuff. Oh, look at the little fox. You think he's worth money? Ah, uh, we can sell raw meat. <laughs> Everything has a price. Even the cute foxes. Uh, I don't want to mess with the wolves, though. I feel like if I shoot them, they're going to get really mad at me. Okay, to get up to that tower, it l I don't understand what the immediate problem is. I'm sure there's some type of puzzle we need to solve in order to get to the top of this. Um, but luckily we have Revali's Gale, which basically just booms us up in the air. Oh, some enemies. Let's go. I don't love Lizalfos. I think they're kind of annoying, but... Dang, the big man's... Oh, these guys are easy. Alright, fine. I like how I'm not concerned with, like, their equipment or their armor. I just... Okay, come back over here so I don't want your stuff to fall down the mountain. Over here. There we go. Nice. Now we've got a good collection. Now we have some Lozolfo parts, some Moblem parts. we got a good collection of dead people in my inventory. God. The Kor Wait, was there a Korok leaf over there? No. We'll have to get another Korok leaf. We'll just bomb trees until we get one. I mean, the Korok Leaf would be good for sending them down this mountain, but I don't want them to send down that mountain because I need to get their stuff. <laughs> you know? If I boom down the mountain, I have to then go down the mountain and go, you know... I did have one. We had one, like, the, almost the entire game. I was really upset. I ended up breaking it on someone's face uh, accidentally. So we need another one. Luckily, they're one of the most common things in the entire game. <laughs> you can just bomb trees until they give you one. Which we will be doing. Um, but they don't work very well in the Goron City because everything's on fire. Okay, now we got a lot of enemies here. And a guardian. Do I just look at these things? How do I get the stuff out of them? Oh, this is... Oh, this is mud. Good catch. No, Link, you could have made that. I apologize, Link. That's on me. Oh, okay. He got his off before I got mine. That's fair. That's fair. There we go. Okay, that's dead now. But I'll take your bobbling bits. That's good. Um, is there anything else that's easy to get? Because honestly, what I'm thinking is... Okay, that was good. Get some Lozolfo parts. Ah, I guess we'll have to paratroop across. Ooh, a shield. I guess I don't need one of those. Okay, now the electric Lizolfo is actually a big concern. It's gonna make my life pretty annoying. There's a chest over here, though. Alright. Um, let's see. I guess... How do I kill you? Can I just shoot you to death? I don't... I'm not gonna be able to collect his bits. But, like, I need him to stop shooting me. I also need to eat something. Um, yeah, that's fine. Oh, he's over there. Okay. Let me give it this chest. I don't know what's in it, but I think it's probably good. Seems pretty far out of the way. Stream Elements doesn't have a Ron as currency. Bad website. You just gotta invest in a different currency. I want, is that an investment thing? Can you, like, invest in someone else's currency? No, he fell in the water. Dang it. 
Oh my god, dude. This freaking Octo Shooter is just a masterclass at shooting me in the face. Alright. Screw it. We're gonna go... Revali's Gale on this. And just get up this way. I, I don't have the time to kill everything. I think we've killed enough. I just need to get high enough up here so they can't shoot me down. Yeah, I think we're good now. Whew. All right, let's climb to the top of this thing. Revali's Gale makes everything easier in this game. It's almost like having ancient divine beast magic powers makes the game easier. <laughs> All right, well, let's get this map unlocked. The dollar's getting more expensive daily. Let me buy some, then in like a month I'm making a profit. I guess, right? Like, I just never thought as currency as a stock, but I guess like different countries have different inflation weight rates. In theory, the dollar should be getting weaker, not stronger. We have a bad inflation problem right now. So if you buy a dollar right now, in a month that's actually only worth like 98 cents. So it's probably not a good time to invest in the American dollar. We're having a big inflation problem. I don't know what's a strong currency, but it's not the dollar. Alright. We got the map unlocked. Do we have enough money? Do we have enough monster parts to sell for money? And get 2,000 rupinos. Time to invest in any currency? I guess you could. Like, if you think... How does... Yeah, I feel like everyone's money right now is kind of just inflating. I don't... Again, I'm not... <laughs> I have no idea how money works or what's a good thing to invest in. Uh, but, like, I feel like basically every currency is... N nothing is, like, increasing in value. Like, I don't know who to invest in from a currency perspective. I didn't know that was a thing. Alright, we got a good amount of money? I don't know. There's probably some shrines around here. Let's go hunt... Eh, is there? I mean, the Hyrule Forest will go there eventually. Yeah, we didn't really hunt down too many shrines. Do we see any from up here? We're looking for orange buildings. The ruble? You mean invest in the ruble? That sounds like a... I, I know that's a real currency, but it sounds like a rupee, which is a lynx currency. Yeah, I don't see any obvious... Shrines from up here. It looks like we got a lot of them. Maybe up there, those mountains? Not really seen it. Okay. So then, let's keep the same mentality going. Let's just keep looking in the... We'll just keep getting all the maps for these areas. And... Along the way, we'll kill things and get shrines. Currency investments definitely hit or miss. It's like, it's basically cryptocurrency. But you don't. it's not as volatile as cryptocurrency. You can't, like, make millions overnight it's a little bit more stable if you think if you think the crypto is coming back it's a great time to invest in that i don't i don't know if that's a safe investment but it is an investment all right let's get our cold weather gear on now make link happy all right so i'm gonna try to go investigate this area where, where am i looking at this way oh there's a shrine right there yeah we'll just kind of head this way We'll get the map for that region. And yeah. That's all I have planned. We're gonna get the shrine. Actually, there's probably some enemies over here we can kill too. Oh, there's a Korok leaf up here. God, this game just has so much in it. Oh, there's a fairy shrine. Let's go grab this. Oh, is she gonna take money from me? Does it cost money to open these? Oh, wait, wait. Everyone get real quiet. We're gonna collect some thistles. And if I'm really good, I think I can collect some fairies. Come to me. Come to me, fairy. Mm, why are they so high? I think if I run around, they disappear. So I'm trying to be real sneaky. Fairies be very nice to have. It's like Mipha's Grace, but you have a lot of them. Are they all just high? Man, can I shoot a, a fairy? Would that be sacrilegious? Would that knock it? I've never seen a fairy die. Okay, so they do, <laughs> It looks like they do feel pain. 
And they do get scared and run away. Alright, I'm just gonna grab, like, one. Alright. I'm just gonna sneak up to this guy. Nice. Woo! That was a snag right there. I'll take it. That's, f that's like, three out of four. That's pretty good for fairy catching. Alright, let's see what this fairy wants. Listen to my story. Alright. The great fairy Kaiza. This place was once a beautiful spring. But as time passed, fewer and fewer travelers arrived to offer me ru She does want money. How much money do you want? A 500? I don't have that. I got that. I'm gonna keep my rupees. Uh-uh-uh. Alright. I'm just gonna mark it on the map that there's a fairy fountain here. Uh, would be a good one for fairies. That's a fairy. Are you all just gonna play 8-ball pool now? It's, it's a, quite the game. It's all geometry and angles. It's really school if you think about it. You can get class credit for that. Roll down. Nice. Luminous stones are probably worth, like, some amount of money. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Had a lot of weird older men add you in 8-ball pool. And, like, God, dude, that's so weird. <laughs> I'm like, it's such a... a man. <laughs> That's the weirdest thing I heard all day. Some thirsty, weird guys on 8-ball pool. <laughs> oh, because you... Oh, gotcha. We got a shrine, everyone. Everyone calm down. There's a shrine in sight. <laughs> There's not older, thirsty women out there hunting for your partner. <laughs> oh, ooh, we can kill that guardian, right? I think we got ancient arrows. Oh, okay. Alright. That's 10 rupees right there. Alright. Um, I don't think we can sell bone for very much. I'm gonna go after the... The shrine. <laughs> What's your 8-ball pool ID? All right, um, I think I have enough stamina to get another. I don't really know. We'll take a break right here. I think that's probably a good idea. I don't think I have enough stamina to get all the way to the top. All right, good, good, good. How? Ooh, strengthen Lisa bow. Okay, we can probably get. What are? What is our bow situation looking like? This is garbage. It's, yeah, it goes, it aims really straight and true, but it doesn't do, like, any damage. We don't need any of that. Then can you run up this? Oh my god, you're amazing! Just ignore the archer shooting you. He's none of your concern. Oh my, Link just ran that whole thing. That's crazy. Alright. Nice. Are you dead? Yeah! Alright, these guys are worth, like, ten bucks. Ooh, what a what a pool ID. That's a good looking number. All right. I think we got another Boko camp. We can go murder these guys. Take their body parts. Are these all skellies? No, they're real. Okay. Okay, there's a red one up there. That guy's kind of a, a pain. The purple ones, I think, are really easy to deal with. Yeah, I don't think these guys have very good weapons. Which is nice for me. All right, let's steal their body parts, sell them on the black market. Did this guy die? He did. Wow. What a pushover. Oh, this guy's got... Okay, they got some shields. Okay, I think we'll be fine. Ooh, okay, my man's got a shield. Interesting. Now he does not have a shield, though. Now he's dead. All right. Arrows? I'll take those arrows. Alright. Uh, we got a good collection of body parts. Pick some- Okay, you guys can just keep shooting arrows if you want. I'll take them. You wanna keep shooting them? Nice! Thank you. Oh, that one too? I'll take that. Oh, okay. Gotta hit the- Gotta hit the grass, though. No, no, no. You're hitting the rocks. It's breaking the arrows. You got- Okay. No. Do it- If you're not gonna do it right, then don't do it all. all. 
Ooh, a hot-footed frog. That's a hot frog. All right. Let's knock this out. All right, we got some more. Wish you luck. Yeah, you guys. Good luck playing the eight-ball pool game. Um, I, I was going to say, I hope you win, but I honestly, you know, you, I hope you both win. I hope it's a tie, a stalemate. I don't have favoritism. Not in my chat. A falcon bow. Oh yeah, we get rid of something for a falcon bow. That's, that's a good bow. Uh, we can get rid of this. This is hot garbage. Okay. Yeah, let me know how that goes. All right, I don't, need, I don't need I don't need an entire play by play. <laughs> just just give me the ending end result. All right. Now we're gonna get our shrine. <laughs> bum bum, bleep bleep. When boy, there's people to murder along the way. Oh, doggy. Need some of the bananas that we found. All right. Oh, I'll take my chew jelly. That's money in the pocket right there. That's what I invest in is chew jelly. All right. Yeah, dude, we're gonna, we have like 30 of these things. Yeah, 40 chew jellies. That is, what, four times five? That's 200 rupees right there in chew jelly alone. That's stonks, baby. Oh, he's got a shield. All right, that died. What do we got left? Uh, big sledgehammer. I really think the sledgehammer probably isn't the best weapon. Uh, Knight's Claymore sounds cool, though. We got some good weapons. Yeah, we launched him. Nice, dude. We are clamming. We are just doing all of the things. I think we have enough, like, body parts now. I think we can start selling our organs at the black market. I'm not even gonna murder that fox. I could have, but I chose not to. Oh, and there's a moment here, or a, a memory. We get a cutscene. <laughs> I don't know if that was premature or not. All right. Yeah, I did that without even knowing it. I'm just that good. All right. Let's see what Link was doing back in the day. Let's revisit an hour in the land of a Link's mind. Who was he here with, Zelda? I think they were all Zelda's memories, right? All right, so she's chilling at a shrine. Probably doing some examining. Oh, it won't work. Her switch isn't as powerful as mine. Is that this structure was designed to be exclusively accessed by the sword's chosen one. Is that true? I thought it was just the fact that I had a, a switch. At least I hope. How do I get inside? I need to activate it somehow. Hey, there's Link. Showing up for almost no reason. I'm sure he'll be helpful, very helpful in this scenario. Oh my god, look at Zelda's horse! It's gorgeous. I'm not in need of an escort. Oh damn, she's sassy. It seems I'm the only one with a mind of my own. <laughs> I, the person in question, am <laughs> regardless of the king's orders. <laughs> Return to the castle and tell that to my father, please. Bro, Link is literally just he he's, doesn't say a word. He just mindlessly mindlessly follows Zelda around like a dog. And stop following me. <laughs> Oh my god. <gasps> Good job, Link. Way to remember things. <laughs> cool. Now let's go do a shrine. Did someone win them the uh, eight ball pool game? Do we have a victor in there? Oh, I don't know. I'm seeing a lot of excuses from Whoopi Bro. That makes me feel like he might not have won. I'll see him, Bethany, with the good... Yeah, there it is. I can tell by the good game with a smiley face just gives off the impression that you had won. But gives, but makes it sense a major test. But it's like, hey, good game, though. Shakes hand. Whoop Bro's doing the classic, like, goes for the handshake and then swoops it back. It's like, huh. 
All right. So I have not done a major test of strength. I'm. Let me just double check. We have five ancient arrows. That should probably handle this. I don't know what we're going to be up against. It's just a guardian, right? Can I just ancient arrow this? I'm going to ancient arrow this. Wait, wait, wait. Wait for... Wait, I didn't kill it. None of these are killing it. Okay, that's concerning. We're going to have to actually fight it here. Uh, all right, we got a flurry rush in. That's good. Oh man, we do not do a lot of damage here. Is he gonna spin attack? It is gonna spin attack. That's gonna be good. Spin attack me. There we are. Why don't those do anything? Those are ancient arrows. All right, the effect down should return, not go straight in the hole. I have, yeah, I, I don't play bubble pool. I don't even know I'm reading this. All right, he's gonna spin attack me. Um, I guess while we can eat something, while we're waiting here. I don't know, what, what? Okay, let's switch from our ancient arrows to something that's not that. And then we can use our strongbow here. Oh, electric seems pretty good. All right, we're getting along here. Also, this will probably drop an ancient shield, which is pretty good. All right, he's gonna run at me. This is going pretty well. That was pretty good. All right, let's get, I guess, another shock arrow. I need to get a blade of some kind. This looks pretty good. Dang it. Wow, he really hits hard, don't he? Oh, wait, I don't have Mephus Grace in here. Whoo, that was a good call on my part. I That could have been really bad. We do have fairies, which is good. I did forget that we didn't have Mephus Grace. I'm gonna eat all like kind of the random food we have laying around. All right, I think we'll be enough to survive a hit here. All right, he's gonna run at me. Go, Link, go, 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 go. Wait. We're just gonna, I'm not gonna bother parrying this. I, this might one-shot me. It does one shot me. Okay, that's fine. Uh, oh boy. Oh baby. All right, that'll be fine. Go Link, go. Oh God. Okay. Oh boy. Ah, uh, this is fine. This is fine. This is fine. We can, we can, we can live this. Right, Link. Get behind this statue. Uh, just go for the ancient arrows. I don't know. Okay, this is fine. Just don't die, Link. Don't die. Why do you keep doing this? Woo! There we go, baby. Major test of strength. We did it. We didn't die. Did it take all of our food? Yes. Was it worth the five ancient arrows that I wasted? Probably not, but we did make it through. <laughs> oh my god. Alright, whatever. More importantly, we have the shrine piece. And this cool guardian shield plus plus is pretty nice. Whew. Now I gotta cook more food. I hate cooking. I like cooking in real life, and we're doing the cooking stream. Zelda cooking's not my favorite. Too lazy. We're not taking that. What? I guess I did break something along the way. Anyways... Let's get our spirit orb. We got six of them now.
Dun 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 dun. Cool. All right. I am going to run to the bathroom. You guys can listen to something. It will play something. I hope you guys enjoyed the Wind Waker tune. I do like Dragon Roost Island. We're just gonna let it finish. What time is it for me? It is six o'clock a.m. or p.m. <laughs> oh, you're probably talking to the Whoopster. All right, I think we have enough to. I think we're gonna sell things in the black market. So I think we're gonna go back. Uh, we'll just go to any town, I guess. We'll be fine. We're gonna go here, sell all of our internal organs that we have in our inventory, and see what we're at cost-wise. We only need 2,000 rupees to make this happen. Uh, stable right down here. Is that currency in eight ball pool? Is that what you guys are talking about? I didn't know the, is that like ELO or is it like money that you can spend on balls? Is that, I don't know why I'm thinking like, I'm thinking of microtransaction in, <laughs> in eight ball pool. I'm like, what would you buy? Like, what can you improve of eight ball pool? You either change the balls that you hit. I guess you could change the queue or like the table. There's not too much you could realistically buy. All right, let's sell all of our monster parts and see where we're at. The game is, what do you buy though? Like, I'm just assuming that, I, I just made some random assumptions. You buy new, do the cues, are they, do they impact gameplay? Okay, but do they just cool looking? Like, is there like a fire cue? More powerful, okay, so it's, they're not just cosmetic. All right. We are not making the amount of money that I thought we'd be making on these transactions. There's still more to sell. We still have our Hynux uh, toenails. I think that's our big budget item here. All right. Topaz? Okay, that's 180. We're getting up there. Okay, we only need 900 more. I think we have enough to do this. This the mo the uh the moblin guts is worth like 25 apart, right? Yeah. Okay. Yeah, 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 yeah. I think we'll be good. I think it's gonna be close, but I think we'll be okay. Yeah, this chew jelly is worth 200 by itself. Wow. Nice. All right, now the toenail. The toenail. How is it only worth 20? Do you know how many? There's only like 10 toenails on a Hinox. Wow. It should be worth way more. I'm thinking like 400, 500 a piece. All right, where's that tooth? 35? Feels like not enough. Okay, we still have the sapphire. Sapphire's worth something. Oh, these are worth a lot. Okay. We're almost there. We're almost there, baby. I think we're just gonna be barely making it with the uh, 
with a sapphire. Wow. Yeah. Man, that was close. <laughs> uh, we did not leave a lot of room for error. All right, cool. Nope, I'm good. Let's go continue our main quest line. <laughs> we really took our sweet time making this happen. But we can finally buy the fireproof armor <laughs> and go do all the Goron City quest lines. All right, you can tell the environment's gonna set me on fire. That's gonna be fine. We can make it there before we die, for sure. So, what is a recharge on pool cues? Like, what's why? Are, why are pool cues need to be need to be recharged? Wait, is this not the right place? Okay, Link, uh, sorry about that. Uh, where do I buy clothes? I guess I need to... <laughs> I'm gonna have to eat. Okay, um, clothing shop I thought was like there. Oh, it's down here probably. After, like, 50 shots, you need to spend real-life money in order to use the queue again? Damn. They got you hooked. They got a system. Wait, do I not catch on fire? I didn't even need the helmet. We just spent, like, an hour getting money to buy a helmet. I didn't even realize that with even without the helmet, we don't set catch on fire anymore. Anyways, screw it. I want the, I want the full set of armor. Yeah. I already, I committed to this already. We're not changing the plan. <laughs> yeah, here we go. It was worth it. I mean, it is worth it to have this. You're gonna want that in your life. That's armor right there. Dang, I feel stupid. Literally, the pants and the shirt were worth 1300 And the, <laughs> the helmet was 2000 all right, well, let's change our quest to be the one where we go help out. Uh, this one. Okay, let's go find his kid. Silly. Yeah, I know. It wasn't this. I probably should have tried that before I uh, went and ran around and got money. But I think, you know, it's whatever. I want all the cool. I want all the cool armor. Armor's fun to have. Is that a person? Oh, those rocks. It's kind of hard to tell with the Gorons. You really can't tell if it's a rock or a person. It's a fun game you can play. <laughs> wow. Holy hell. That is... That was an impressive shot. Oh, I naturally hit fire arrows because it's hot. That's pretty nice. All right, show yourself. What if we just bomb the rock? Apparently it doesn't work. How do we kill this thing? I don't really know. <laughs> this guy naturally cook? He does! Okay, so any birds we see is definitely worth our time because they naturally will cook into food. It's perfect. Oh, I need to eat. Thank God we have all these birds sitting around. I gotta do a little dip dodge in case the rock guy comes after me. Are you the person I need to talk to? That's Drac. No, I'm looking for like Yabora or something. So many people out and about. You should know it gets much hotter past here. Do you know Yabona? What's a stranger like you asking about Yabona? Boss wants to know. Huh? Boss does? Well, then I guess I better tell you where Yabona is. He's in that lava. Yabona went to the vault to fetch some painkillers. But now that you mention it, I suppose he never came back. Place is dangerous. Probably shouldn't go looking for him. All right, that's, that's enough for me. Newbies in this game will make you insane. They don't know how to break the balls. It's just because... You're telling... Wait, in 8-Ball Pool, you can break the balls? Hey, Alex, how are you doing? 
Hope your day is going well. I'm just trying not to die on Death Mountain. And ult- Ooh, wait, are they made of- Oh, dang it. I would have thought putting them into lava would have killed them, but apparently not. Ah! How am I? I'm doing well. I'm playing Zelda. We just went on a money rampage. We went looking for rupees across the land in order enough to have enough money to buy the fancy armor, only to find out that we really didn't need the fancy armor. Uh, we could have done this without it. Uh, so anyways, yeah, we're I, I'm having a great day. I love any time I get to play Zelda. It's a great game. Been a hot minute since you played. I Honestly, I've been going back through my game archives. We just went through and played all of Mario Odyssey. We 100%ed it. We got all 880 moons. Whoa, thanks for the follow, Alex. Really, give him a round of applause. Can't believe it. Thank you for joining the Cactus Crew. Really appreciate it. Glad to have you in. Mm. And we got a shrine. Yeah, I'm, ha I'm having a great time. It's been phenomenal. I've forgotten how good this is. Um. Okay. Apparently, he's trapped inside of here. And we need to get him out. <laughs> it's also a shrine in there. Alright, so these are lava rocks that I can't... The wind cleaver is damaged. I don't know why. How do I break these? Are they magnetic? Can I stasis them? No. Can I freeze them? Hmm. What am I missing here? <laughs> There's like a cannon. Oh, that might be it. Maybe I can shoot it with a cannon. That might be a smart move. That might be a big brand play. Oh, yeah, this is what you do. All right. Well, no, wait. You got to shoot a Goron out of here. Dang it. Um. Do I need to go back and talk to someone? Or can we handle this on our own? Do we fix it at this level or do we elevate it to the management level? Because we got our boss back there. But I really don't want to... I'm, I'm a little intimidated by him. I don't want to go back there and let him know that I let him down. I'd rather handle this on my own, if possible. Oh, God. He's not a mafia boss. He's a construction work leader. <laughs> they just handle construction and mining. Okay. Um, it looks like we might have to go back and ask for assistance in this matter. This section confuse you as well. Good, at least I'm not alone. Misery loves company. I'm just gonna take out these Lazolfos in the meantime. Yeah, I suppose not better than what we got. Um, okay. Unfortunately, these are red Lazolfos, so putting them in the lava doesn't really solve anything. So we're just gonna have to kill him like that. Oh, fire arrows are nice. Gustavo Fring is also disguised as the owner of fast food. I don't know what that means. What 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 is this context? You can't just be throwing Gustavo Fring. I, is that a person? Should I know who that is? Um. Okay. The ice one can kill the red Lazolfos. I have not watched Breaking Bad. I know I'm behind on the times. There's just a lot of there's just a lot of stuff there, you know. Wait, does Ice one shot them? Oh my god! Thank you, Alex. That's a that's a top tip right there. Hell yeah! You spoiled, bro. I haven't seen any of this show. I feel like I don't think you spoiled anything. I think I'll be okay. Gustavo Fring. I don't even know what that means. So, like, I think if I do end up watching the show, I'll be okay. Okay. When you're gonna watch? I don't know when I'm gonna watch. Works the other way around, too. Ice is always out of... That one makes... I don't know why the... I remember doing that for the ice ones. I knew the fire would hurt <laughs> the ice ones, but I don't know why I didn't think that the ice would hurt the fire. 
I guess they thought the fire would just melt the ice. Okay. Okay, let's let's think about this. Um I'm gonna go back and talk to the boss. I'm gonna talk to the boss man and I'm gonna ask for help because I think it's taken too long and I need his guidance. I need his wisdom in this matter. He might be able to help out. Wow, if we won strength in Lazalfa bows, like we are in a good place. Oh yeah, baby. Get that good monster parts. Um is my first playthrough? It is not. I played this when the game came out back in 2017. But it has been quite a while since 2017. If my math checks out, it's like five years ago. So it's been a hot second. So I have enough not like I remember. I don't remember any of the puzzles, which is perfect. It reminds me a lot of playing like Portal again. Like I replayed Portal 2 like last year. And I remembered the jokes being funny. And I remember some of the like the side content. But I didn't remember doing any of the puzzles, which is perfect. That's exactly what you want. You got obsessed with this game. I feel like I didn't have that experience the first time. Like I didn't play, I didn't overplay it. I think I put like, you know, 60, 80 hours in the game. And then I kind of called it there. But now that I'm replaying it and having a lot more fun with kind of the physics of the world and the way it, everything interacts, I feel like we're gonna do a lot more of the game. Like for instance, I wanna, we found these labyrinths earlier and I didn't have the stamina to easily climb in and out of them. So I'm, I definitely would go back and do a labyrinth. I also didn't do Eventide Island. I didn't even know Eventide Island was a thing. And I can't wait to go do that. We're going to do that before we go fight Ganon for sure. Uh, you play this, you have 400 hours in this game? That's so many hours. Okay, apparently our boss man does not have any tips or tricks on how to rescue Yolanda from the crevices of the cave. Uh, we want more stamina. Hearts are good, though. Maybe we should switch to hearts. Because we need to... Okay, I think now we have enough stamina. I think we're going to focus on getting hearts from now on so we can get the Master Sword. You have 800 in Animal Crossing? Whoo, baby. Gotta get those dailies, you know? Gotta get those dailies in. Those apples don't harvest themselves. What a casual... <laughs> Yeah, those are rookie numbers. You gotta pump those up. 800 hours. What is that in, like, days? You have four, I don't have... Okay, the only game that I have a lot of hours is in is Rocket League. And I think I, own, I have, like, a thousand hours in that. But also, that's been out since 2015. It's been a long time. That's seven years. I feel like that's okay. Uh, that's, that's actually, now that I'm thinking about it, that sounds what addiction sounds like. No, you know, if you think about it, if you do the math, like, it's not that bad. Oh, I can freeze these guys, too. Ah. Oh. All right, there's a rail system. Did that kill him? It did not kill him. Ah, I just gotta wait till he starts shooting at me. Okay. Let me talk to the guy up here. Someone's gotta help me out here, right? Like... This game... The thing that brings me back, you know... This game is designed for children, right? So, like... If I don't know what I'm doing, do you know Yabuno? Well, okay, I'll tell you again. This is not new information. Ah. Went to the vault to fetch some painkillers. But now you mention I suppose you... Do we just freeze the rocks? That can't be it, right? There's also a sledgehammer here. I'm gonna get the sledgehammer. Can you teach me how to crank 90s? Hey, stop it. The boss is cannon. Don't you dare touch that lever. You mean this lever? Okay. Oh! There's just a rock in there! That makes so much sense! I didn't realize there was a rock preloaded in here. Oh, we're fine then. We figured it out. We big brained it. We're fine. We big fried it. Just crank them in 1v1? <laughs> Wait, you guys are, you gotta learn how to play Fortnite together? That's adorable. I'm terrible at Fortnite. <laughs> I'm terrible at most shooters. 
Did it pop up? It looks like it popped up. Look at that. Look at me putting commands into Nightbot and then being used by my chat. That's phenomenal. It's 11 p.m. here. Where do you, where does everyone live? Is this a? I guess everyone must be overseas. It must be like UK region. I guess I do stream early in America. East Coast problems. Well, I wish you the best of luck learning how to play Fortnite. You're British. Way to go. <laughs> Good job. I don't I don't know how to respond to that. I, there's a lot of people that, that pop in here from overseas again because the uh, the time is different That's real interesting I was telling we were I was streaming on Sunday and I decided to make a resolution that I would convert America to the metric system That's my goal in life. We use the crappy imperial system which sucks because for instance, do you know how many inches are in a foot? 12, all right? So maybe you're thinking, okay, the imperial system is in units of 12. Okay, so there must be like 12 feet in a yard. No, there's three feet in a yard. Okay, well, how many feet are in a mile? Oh, maybe, I don't know, like 12 feet in a mile? No, it's 5,280 feet in a mile. Where? Where do these numbers come from? They don't make any sense. I'm, I'm all in on the metric system. We'll switch to kilometers. It will be a glorious day. So I've been at work and I've been refusing to, I, every time the inches or feet come up, I try to be like, well, what's that in meters? Can you convert that for me? Yeah, I'll make America great again. That will be my platform. It's gonna be glorious. All right, so what I'm thinking here is while it's rotating, we pop it off, right? Got it. Got it. I don't think the uh, <laughs> the unit conversions is a Democratic or Republican entity. I don't think anyone... There is no political party in America currently running on a platform that we need to switch to the metric system. That is not a... Uh, that's not a, stat, a stance that either one of our political parties are taking <laughs> at the moment. But if they did take that, you know, I would, you know, I'd be all in. Oh my god, look at this place. It's got chess galore. They got weapons all over the place. Dude, I keep forgetting everything's voice acted. Alright, I love... I, I, I love Yonando. Yaboba. Yaboba. Yanoba. Yanoba. Yeah, I just want a meme where it says, you know, American... <laughs> system of measurement and it's like the nerdy kid writing on the walls and then it says <laughs> chad uh metric system and it's got you know the buff chad just kind of panning around him that you boba you know boba i'm gonna call him yanny his name is now you know bro that's actually better his name is you know bro at okay that's actually way easier to remember that's they need to give me phonetic spellings of everyone's name. All right, don't mind me. I'm just gonna steal all of your uh, chests right quick. Then we'll talk to you, no bro. Ice arrows are gonna be very good for this region. He also is adorable. I would not have given him that voice. <laughs> I don't think that feels very non-Goron-esque, but I think it, it's it's funny. He's kind of he reminds me of the character from the. That Christmas movie, the claymation one, Rudolph the Red-Nosed Reindeer, where they have the elf who wants to be a dentist. And he's, like, kind of nervous and doesn't really know what he's doing. But it's funnier because Yanobra, Yanobo, is, you know, huge and buff. Cactus Stream 101. Sometimes he has dementia, sucks at pronunciation. All right, well, you know, I, I do my best. You know how many words I say? If you look at the amount of words that I say in a single stream... And then count how many I mispronounce. We're talking like maybe 1%. I think that's impressive. I think I say a lot of words correctly for the ones that I mispronounce. I think that's a good ratio. <laughs> Whoa, it's a Hylian. Oh, where? Were you the one who broke through that crag to rescue me, Goro? Thanks, brother. But what I brought. <laughs> but what brought you all the way here to begin with? Oh, so that's it. Boss told you to come find me. 
Phew, thank goodness. In any case, I sure am glad you saved me, Goro. The name's Yonobo. Everyone calls me Yonobo. I, I guess that makes sense. I came to get some painkillers for boss, but a magna bomb caused a rock slide sealing the entrance, Goro. By the way, how did you break those rocks at the entrance? Huh? You use boss's cannon? That thing is so difficult to use. I thought only the boss could handle it. Oops, I nearly forgot. This isn't the time to chat. I need to deliver those painkillers as soon as possible. Sorry, I gotta run. But do come and see the boss later, okay? He may be gruff, but he always repays a favor. I'm sure there's a reward in for you. Okay, then. Goodbye now, Goro. I say traditional English words correctly. I, I think that makes sense. Yeah, okay. The words in Zelda are hard to pronounce. I've never seen them before. I'm looking from scratch. English words are easy. I use those all the time. That's the only language I know. But I know it pretty well. Oh. Alright, so we're gonna go talk to the boss man. And I'm just gonna fast travel there. <laughs> Bro, imagine not speaking fluent Zelda-ish. Do you think there's a, um, a Duolingo for that? Do you think they teach that in um, on those online language learning courses? Because I feel like they have one for... God, what's the Star Trek language that that civilization uses? Um, Klingon. I think there is an actual language learning platform to learn Klingon, which is a fictional language... Yeah, it's a fictional language from Star Trek. I'm curious if they have one for other, you know, video game things or TV shows. Do you think they will teach you how to speak Elvish from Lord of the Rings? Oh, it's Tardy Traveler. Yonobo told me all about how you helped him, brother. Here's a reward for you. Alright. Hylians like you need this sort of thing, right? Alright, what do you think he's gonna give me? What do you think a Goron believes Hylians should have? Is it money? No, I don't think it's money because it's tied specifically to Hylians. <sighs> Is it a weapon? I don't know. Let's find out. I think it's... Give me a rock. I would love everyone to hand me a rock. That'd be perfect. Oh, fireproof elixirs. Why do I need those? So you're telling me at this point in the game, they expect you to do all of that quest line without having the fireproof armor? They were thinking I was just buying loads of these fireproof elixirs? Bro, they, everyone else is broke as hell. I made the money. I made this sick armor. There's a, there's a translator for all the Sheikah texts in the game? People got a lot of time on it. I guess someone at Nintendo had to create the language, right? So I feel like if you created that language from scratch, you probably put the heart and soul into it. You're like, let me make an online translator for it. It's really easy. You can buy elixirs from the stable at the bottom before you get to the volcano. You never need the armor. So I did buy the elixirs initially, but like once I got up here, I mean, you're running around a lot in the lava lands. I just feel, I mean, yeah, you don't need the armor, but I feel like it's super helpful. Also, it's kind of sick looking. Yeah. It's all about that flex, baby. It's about looking good. It's not about completing quests. It's about looking good doing it. Anyways, let's talk about Daruk. Daruk. Are you telling me you don't know about Daruk? Daruk, the Goron champion? See that statue up there? That's Daruk. That? Oh, okay. Dude, Link is fashionable. I really like his, um, the Rito armor just looks sick. The, the one you get from hanging out with the bird people. That's so, I think it just looks so cool with his braids and he's got this little thing in his ear. Also, of course, the Gerudo, <laughs> the Gerudo fit is pretty hot. Like, Link knows what he's doing there. Alright, what was our relationship with Daruk? He seems really chill. I like all the Gorons. Uh, you don't you don't you don't slap with the the Rito outfit. I I just think it looked good. I thought it was a it wasn't too over the top. Yeah, Daruk's cool. Daruk's chat as hell. 
The Gerudo outfit is hot. Like, it is cute as a bun. I love Gerudo Link. Do Gorons eat rocks? I thought they mined. So when they mine... So you're telling me when the Gorons mine in the mountains... They're... <laughs> they're actually... <laughs> So this is farming for the Gorons. When they're out there mining in the hills of Hyrule, they're really just trying to get food to survive. I didn't know that. That's actually that's actually hilarious. Because you didn't really think about it. Like, they're living out here in the Fire Mountains. And you gotta eat something. They're not harvesting food up here. I guess that's what they eat, is rocks. I just never... I've never seen one, like, consume a rock before. Sorry if we missed plot points. I don't think anything impressive happened. I think we're just seeing his new power. Oh, baby. They eat rock roast, which is a rock on a bone. I don't know what animal it comes from, but it's used in the side quest. That was a little strange. Let me just Google what a rock roast looks like. Because I need to know. Breath of the Wild. The mountain is shivering enough. That size, then. Never mind. It her. just looks like this. It's just a rock with two other rocks on the side of it. <laughs> it comes from an animal? Are these just bones? <laughs> I guess some... What are those, um... The rock people. They have a... Um, it's not a Hinox. It's like a... It's a rock creature that you d defeat by hitting a little stone on its back. That might drop a rock roast. Are they other rocks? I thought they were bone. I don't know. I think it's supposed to... I mean, it's supposed to look very similar to, like, a roasted ham or something. Yeah, like a, a stone talus. Like, I feel like that would be where you'd get one from. If anyone's going to give you rock meat, I feel like a stone talus would be the thing that drops rock meat. What's gotten into you? Highland's sure are strange. You know Bo's actually a descendant of the great Daruk. Daruk. That's why that slacker can even use Rook's protection. He used it to protect himself when the fire when we fire him at Redania. Wait, 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 wait. <laughs> Bro, I forgot about all of this. They don't have normal cannonballs. They have to fire Yanobo at the lizard up there and use his magic shield to damage him. And that's enough. We're not going to explain that anymore. We're not going to question our morality by shooting children at a big lava lizard. Let's go shoot him again. Taluses don't drop the rock roast as loot, but you, but that could be where they come from. I, I, I want to do the side quest now. I do want to do the, the rock roast side quest. After we do the divine beast, we'll do that. I think that'd be funny. All right. Yeah, you know, you know, Bo kind of has the bad end of the stick. Kind of gets roasted by his own people. They literally use him as a cannonball. Oh. <laughs> No, 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 they're not baby Gorons. That'd be way too dark. There's no way that Gorons eat baby Gorons. That would be <laughs> dark as hell. I, I'll take baby Taluses. Baby Stone Taluses, I can see. But that would be so, that would be so dark. If it was <laughs> Goron cannibalism, yeah. Hopefully they don't encourage that in this game. Oh, this is probably a good place to find rock deposits. Uh, I don't know where the Elden Bridge is. I'm just gonna get some height, and we'll go find it that way. Dude, I mean, I don't know. Nintendo's been dropping... I When I played this game initially, I didn't realize how many, like, pseudo-sexual references there are. Like, Nintendo doesn't mind doing a little bit weird... Making it a little bit weird with the, uh, the storylines. Like, uh, Link's Awakening had some weird stuff in it about death and living on that island and being, you know, respawn... Like, it's... They definitely kind of sneak it in some of their stuff. It's not, like, they don't make it obvious, but I feel like kind of in side quests and other stuff. Yeah, like spending a night with Paya. They sneak stuff in here that's kind of, you know, risky for a, a game rated E for everyone. But I, you know, I, I, don't, I don't mind it. I wouldn't be too surprised if, um, if they brought that up. I was wondering, okay, so the Goron Hot Springs are just like the Goron Hot Springs in the other games. If you chill in them, they give you hearts. Let's go vibe with the old man. Who's there? Who's disturbing my morning bath? 
Hmm, a Hylian tourist. Lukewarm water. I'd like to relax some really hot water. I'm impressed. Alright, well, I'm gonna go stand next to Redania. Um, we can get over this bridge. Maybe they're just playing Monopoly. Stop sexualizing it. I mean, yeah, we don't see what happens, but, like, it is... Dude, Paya in general is just, like, a weird... She's a weird character. Like, she... Like, she simps for Link really hard. Like, a little bit too hard. She's almost, like, uwu status. Oh, wait, wait, wait. There's a shrine. <laughs> we got a shrine, everyone. Stay alert. Look out for a shrine. Oh, what the hell was that? Um, uh, Keys, Keys, and Lizalfo. Okay, we're breaking everything. That's fine. Okay, everything is crumbling down. There's a lot of rocks landing all around me. I'm a little freaked out. Oh, <sighs> Paya comments if you talk to her with no... Co she comments if you come up to her naked. Bruh, they also did that for Robbie. They were like, I don't believe you. This old man is like looking at Link's like, maybe if you showed, if you talk to me naked, we could talk about unlocking some ancient armor for you. That was a little weird too. He was like an 80 year old man asking Link to take his clothes off to look at him. Like there's a lot of things in this game where Link has to undress to do story progression. It's a little weird. Yeah, prove it. All right, let me see your, let me see your genitals, Sudo, you know, come on. <laughs> The only way I'm helping you. I know Link is over 100, but he's... That doesn't matter. That's like some lolly logic. That's like saying because the character is old, it, it looks like a child. It's not weird. It's still weird. <laughs> Alright. Uh, I would love to... Ooh, it sh he hit me through rocks. That's not allowed. Um, I don't know what a good... Nice lob. Ice arrows. Okay, maybe if I hit him. Just stab him to death, Link. Just go all in on this. Okay, I was curious about that. Because, like, the age of characters in this game is all weird. You got Link, who apparently has the body of a 17-year-old. So, Link is not of legal age. I want to point that out here. Like... He has the mind of a 17-year-old. And that's what we that's what we're using as a basis for aging. I don't think it's how old your body is. I think it's how long your brain has been active is a better way of thinking of that. I don't Okay, yeah, but your cells don't determine your age. It's <laughs> like, okay, you're telling me that if someone was like 20 years old, but like their brain was not fully developed and they basically have the mind of a five-year-old, I feel like it's like dealing with a five-year-old. Like, it would be a weird taking advantage of a 20-year-old person with the mind of a five-year-old. I think that's... I think that's the logic I'm using for dealing with characters' ages in this video game. <sighs> yeah, I think... It, yeah, actually, I don't even think... His cells didn't age, because he didn't age. If his cells aged, he would look older. His, if his cells don't age, then I think he doesn't age. I think you should be how old your cells are. That might be... I don't know. I don't know what the legality of this is. I don't I don't want to... We're going we're gonna to drop the subject. I think we're getting into a air, risky area here. <laughs> Anyways, let's shoot this child at a lava lizard. <laughs> it's Zelda. It's just magic. Just let it be magic. <laughs> <laughs> There's so much caps lock. <laughs> Good old uh, Bridge of Eldian. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We gotta get across it. It would use a cannon to lower it, but we can't get across and we figure something out. Then we can't use the cannon to lower bridge. We're out of luck, Goro. Okay. Well, it occurs to me that you know how to use cannons, don't you, Goro? Maybe we can get across after all. So let's just do what I do to help boss sometimes. It means you're gonna have to... I'm gonna be the cannonball and you launch me. I've got Daruk's protection, Goro. My answer's help can't possibly fail me. That means I can smash into anything and it won't hurt me one bit. My ancestor's Jorok is a pretty big deal. That's what the boss says. So I'm just gonna, it's gotta be true. And I can use the, okay, you mentioned that. All right, 
We're gonna shoot you at the bridge. All right, we're in. Uh, I'm just gonna drop my bomb in there. Aim it. And fire. Does that hit? Sure does. Is that enough? That was enough. I wish I could shoot children out of cannonball, <laughs> out of cannons. Yeah, that's what we play video games for. Things we can't do in real life, we get to actualize them in video game format, and it's awesome. <laughs> See, if you did this in real life, you'd be you'd be sent to prison. My pronouns he him, but I'll basically respond to anything. <laughs> Or succulent, I guess. No, that sounds weird. <laughs> Alright, uh, we, we put the bridge down. Okay, Joey. Or you can call me Joey if you want. <laughs> I, that's not really a pronoun. That's really more of a, a standard name. But <laughs> I will respond to it. Alright. So we have to find a cannon... <laughs> no, 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 not split up like that. <laughs> Suck. <laughs> Instead of saying he went to the mall, you just say Suck went to the mall. <laughs> now, I take it back. We're not using succulent as a pronoun. <laughs> that was a bad decision on my part. I don't know what's going on. Did it release mosquitoes? They, like, guardian mosquitoes? Okay. Uh, suck when shopping to buy <laughs> Utland self some apples. <laughs> Perfect, I think that works. I think, I think they'll catch on as a new pro now. <laughs> And then magma bombs come crushing. All right, what, what do you want me to do here? Um, do I just climb? Grammatically question. I think no. I think grammatically it makes sense. I, I like what you. I, I think Alex made a good plan there. Uh, what's our signal? A wink. A whistle. Mind powers. Mind power sounds good. Telepathy. I didn't know Hylians could do that. Are you transmitting yet, Goro? What the? I'm not receiving anything over here. Let's hurry and decide the signal. All right, I guess it will be a whistle. A whistle? That's a great idea, Goro. When I hear your whistle, I'll either stop in my tracks or start moving forward. I like it. Even though it kind of like calling a horse, Goro. All right, well, when you put it that way, it sounds weird, but like, we're fr like I, I respect you, Yonobo, as an equal in this arrangement we have here. I, you are not Pizza the Horse. You are Yonobo. Guardian of Daruk's protection. I want to make that very clear here. We're, we're equals, and it's a team effort. You are not a horse. Okay, then. I'm counting on you and your whistles to make sure I'm not spotted by those awful sentries. All right. Um, so whistles stop. Whistle has come. He's like a horse, won't you? Honestly, that'd be so much easier. Can I ride you? <laughs> no. If I just drive him like Ratatouille does, or Remy the Rat does in Ratatouille, that would really solve a lot of problems. That would be phenomenal. Because then we wouldn't have to worry about this weird whistling strategy. So I guess I also, wait, how does this work? Oh, I gotta put him underneath that rock. All right, actually come over here, come over here. No, 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 come here. All right, we're going, we're moving. How fast do you think he goes? Fast? Where the hell are you? You know, Bo. Dang it. All right, he's coming. We're gonna time this a little better. Bro's about to make some cuisine with Agora. Exactly. I mean, Link is a pretty good chef in this game. Like, in this game, he's a phenomenal chef. Can we make it all the way to this? I feel like we can. Come here, come on, come on. Wait up. Right. Stop right there, baby. All right. Um, we're gonna wait. I'm gonna wait for the cycle. I really don't want to do this twice. I hate follower quests. So we're just gonna do it right the first time. It's gonna be really boring. Um, so here. Let's get some, uh... Here you go. Let's listen to Wii Sports while we do this. Let's go. 
Come on, Yonobo. Two more steps. We can make it. All the way to the top. Just like that. Almost there. We can do this. Uh, that one is not moving. How do we... Do I have to take that out? How do I kill it? <laughs> Push a rock down? I don't know how this works. All right, wait. Um, I actually need help. How, <laughs> how do I stop this thing from? Wait. Damn, I thought that was gonna be clever. How, how do we do this? I can climb around the side. Stop wasting your ice arrows. Got it. You need the devil trigger. I don't know what that means. All right, I'm gonna try doing this. I'm gonna push this boulder, and see if it follows that. Oh, I can knock a boulder on top of it. That makes more sense. All right, appreciate it. All right, we're gonna use Wii Sports when we're guiding uh, Yonobo around. That's gonna be our like, <laughs> it's gonna be like jogging music. It gets everyone motivated to do a great job. All right, also, what the hell is that? A sledgehammer? All right, can I just push this or do we hit it with a sledgehammer? All right, it worked, all right. Pushing the rock is Wii Sports Bowling. I like it. Back to Wii Sports. Come on, Yonobo. Let's get up that mountain. We can do it. Right foot. Left foot. One, two, three. Up the mountain. Two, victory. Let's go. One, two. Yonobo, come on. You're lagging behind. We can do it. All right. Let's put you inside of this cannon and let's shoot you at that guardian up there. Come on! All right, let me just drop a bomb in there for you. Perfect! Excellent job! All right. Now this shot is for a spare. All right! Let's see if we hit the split! I think that went poorly. <laughs> Why didn't that work? Uh, let's try it. Let's try it again. All right. Gutter ball. Gutter ball. Uh, I need a different bomb. Get, just give me a second. I wasn't ready. Um, man, I really thought that would work for the bowling analogy. Uh, just keep shooting them. There we go. An excellent shot right out of the park. Now, can we hit the other one? I don't really know. Um, that's a good question. Um... Can we hit the other one? I say we go for it. If not, it's fine. You didn't know you could do that? <laughs> I don't know what the intentional route is. All right. All right, Yonobo, let's get a little closer and see what we're dealing with. Come here, buddy. Pick up the pace. We're lagging behind. You're supposed to hit the beast. Oh. <laughs> Never mind. Let's hit the lava lizard. Ah, that makes a lot more sense. Okay. <laughs> Bam. Nice strike. Well done. All right. Lava lizard is in motion. We gotta follow him. Keep up the pace. Yoop, yoop, lippity yoop. We did it, Goro. All right, we hit him once. <laughs> nice, cock. <laughs> All right, so we got one more, um, I don't know, sentry to deal with. We're gonna make him stop. Hole in, yeah, there's a lot of good, actually, yeah, we'll get the Wii Sports back in. We're just gonna keep looping the Wii Sports. Because it just makes a lot of sense. Alright, let's go. We're gonna go play some golf today. It's a par three hole. It's a beautiful 
hole on Death Mountain. Our target is right there. It's a pretty good green. Looks like we've got a lot of wind out here today. Let's see if we can get this ball where it needs to go. All right, Link takes the shot. Oh, it looks like he's laying up here. Can't quite hit the target in one shot. We'll do it again, though. There it is. An excellent shot. Well done. All right. Let's keep moving. On to the next hole. Come on, Yonobo. Follow me. Oh, I'm too far away. That's okay. Get a little closer. Come on, Yonobo. Let's make it up that mountain. Let's do it for Zelda. There's actually a golf mini game in the Rito area. All right, we have to go back and do that. <laughs> All right, Inovo, be on the lookout for Guardians. That can really, that's basically the bunkers of this course. All righty. Looks like we're onto another hole. Let's see how we solve this problem. Ooh, what sport do you want to use here? Uh, baseball sounds like a good one. Actually, if I can stasis launch something, that would be a pretty good baseball analogy. Uh... Just gonna try it for a hit out of the parks. Yeah. All right, that's a double. Let's see if we can get all the way back to home base. <laughs> I don't know. We did it. Let's go. Link wins the World Series of running up Death Mountain. Come on, Yonobo, let's run around the bases. God, the Wii Sports music is just so good. All right. We got our ancient divine beast up there. I don't know what the path is. This seems fine. All right, we need, to, we need to calm down a little bit. We can't have the Wii Sports running all the time. I only have so much energy. And the Wii Sports just pulls it right out of me. It's like a vacuum. Oh, okay. I got you, you Nobo. There we go. That should solve that problem. All right, let's get into the cannon. All right. They're gonna line up the shot. Go, Link. Let's hit it. Bam! I don't know why that didn't. Oh, I used. I had to use the ball. All right. All right, shot looks good. Let's go for a home run. Out of the park. Okay. All right, man. Uh, so keep in mind, <laughs> we gotta enjoy the game. I, I I get a veto. I feel like I don't know. We gotta put. Maybe I'll put some rules around the uh, the game we decide to play. Maybe it's. We'll have to do a game by game. I feel like I can play it for a stream is the, I'll tell you what. All right. It will not be enjoyable for viewers. No one wants to see me play Friday Night at Freddy's. Um, what we'll do is I will, okay. For the 25K, I will play one game on stream for an entire stream. If everyone enjoys it and we're having a good time, we will continue playing the game. So your goal as a game selector should be to find the game that everyone enjoys and that I enjoy playing. So we keep doing it. Or if you want to torture me, you get like two or three hours of me playing the game. Whatever works best for you. I think that's a fair deal. I'll put that in the description so everyone's aware. Like, I will play it for an entire stream. But I can't... It, like, if you give me Final Fantasy 16, I am not putting in the 800 hours to beat that game. And I, I guess I should bring that up. That's a good thing I should mention. Alright, sounds good. Alright, we got more sentries. I don't know why I didn't think this would take as long. Let's go take these guys out. <laughs> Five Night of Freddy's. That's it. I don't know why. I'm thinking of... um. <laughs> what am I thinking of? Oh, I'm thinking Friday the 13th. I'm thinking of the horror franchises. And when I see an F in horror, I'm just thinking, oh, it's, it's um, Friday the 13th. Or Friday Night Funking. Actually, that's actually what I'm thinking of. That's, that's a better... <laughs> You actually hit the nail on the head there. That is for sure me thinking of Friday Night Funkin' because that's the abbreviation they use. I can take these guys out with bombs, right? I think I'm just doing them early. 
Yeah, we can take him out. Okay, but don't act like it's not, like, a little bit confusing between the two. They have very similar abbreviations. All right, there's our first one taken out. Let's get the other one done. Not quite. That is not gonna work. I, I'll hit this. Don't you worry. There we go. All right. Ooh, an ancient gear. That's super good. We need more of those. They're, aren't they, they're so similar. There's just one little uh, verb in there, or um, vowel. Oh, you're supposed to use those. Got it. All right. Um, I think we still should be able to make this happen. Um, all right. Good. Get the rock salt. Get the amber. Friday at Freddy's. You know, why does everyone know the Friday or the Five Nights at Freddy's lore? Sorry, I keep mispronouncing it. I mean, it's, I, I've seen so many people say like, oh, I just, no link, 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 no, okay. Okay, let's eat. I need, okay, I need to pay attention for like one second here. That was very scary. We can't die because we're all mentally ill. Got it. Oh, I watched the, I, like, I watched it. But do you understand how fast the, the scout video goes? He's going a mile a minute. You have to have previous knowledge of the lore to understand the lore video you sent me. Like, you have to be deep inside the Five Nights at Freddy's lore to even understand the lore video, I feel like. And I feel like I need, like, an hour-long lore video just to get, like, indoctrinated into Five Nights at Freddy's. Five Nights at Freddy's. All right. Whoop. All right, we're back. We didn't die. Oh, uh, let's finish getting our loot. Loot, 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 loot. Where's our buddy at? Yonobo, come here. Friday, Fre Five Nights at Freddy's lore is super complex and interesting. It's just something I really... Yeah, I feel like Five Nights at Freddy's lore as well as SCP lore has gotten to the point where it's really its own, like, huge fan fiction where people just really enjoy it. Um, okay. Call me crazy here. Do I have a sledgehammer? I don't really have the angle on it. Maybe, though. Ooh, that would have been cool. Wouldn't that have been sick if we were able to hit him like that? Um, anyways, you stay here. I'll take care of these guys. Actually, how do these work? SCPs you don't understand are like the real who made them up. So SCP, from my understanding, it was a video game. Like an older video game came out in like early 2010s. And it had a few basic monsters that had rich backstories about how they came into being and how they operate and they escaped from a lab, yada, yada, yada. Um, and from there, I think it's just a bunch of fan fiction. They basically went on forums. People created their new monsters and it just really devolved into a community event backrooms it's not real but man i really like the backroom stuff that liminal space i think that's real cool <laughs> i don't like the monster elements to it those those are scary but the uh just the pure liminal space stuff i think is cool looking um, i'm gonna try to climb up here and throw bombs because that seems to be a pretty good method of doing that what even is Backrooms? So I think Backrooms is part of the SCP universe. It's just like a different dimensional thing, is my understanding. Like, they have creatures from SCP in the Backrooms. But again, I am not an expert on any of this. Take everything I say with, like, 18 grams of salt. Like, it's your sodium content for the day. How did that not hit you? I, there's a hell I okay that that goes too far. I've seen like one video. I think that bomb come, where how do I hit these? I think I can hit that one and this one Okay, that one got caught in the draft All right, I'm, you can read that one I I don't I I can't I can't read walls of text I'm bad at that <laughs> Oh, do I have to time it? 
Yeah, I might have to go on ground level for this. Uh, okay. I think I see what I'm trying to do here. I think we generally want to shoot something like that. Launch it up. Is it just floating up there? It does just float up there. Okay. So I get the timing right. I think this guy... We might be able to snag without the wind. Yeah, we can get this one out. Nice, 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 nice. Nice. One done. The other one, I think we have to use a little bit of a, that updraft thing. He's got to time it right. Yep, that's a good one. We just need one more. Is there any metal boxes I can magnesis? Probably. Let's keep ex I thank you. We would have been here for another two hours. Thank you for the <laughs> the metal box awareness. Always gotta be on the lookout. That's gonna make my life a lot easier. And your viewing experience is probably a little bit better. I know you guys came here to watch me throw bombs haphazardly at these guardians. Alright. Cool. Thank you for the trip. Tip. <laughs> I'm going on a trip. Alright. <sighs> Alright. Let's go back on the trail we're getting closer oh yeah we have a thing right here all right two moblets how are we gonna take them out I think I'm just gonna use like a thunder blade nope not ice arrows don't scare my friend Yanobo oh wait this guy's got a lot of health I should have brought one of those metal boxes over here. That would have been really helpful. Uh, ah, there we go. Uh, this is fine. Use the wind cleaver. All right, good wind cleaver usage. Uh, royal broadsword. Nice. All right, we took them both out. Come on, let's go. One more hit should do it. Come on, Yanobo. Let's put you into this cannon. And let's take out that divine beast. Ready? Here we go. We did it. Let's go. Have you mastered flurry rushes and parries? I wouldn't say mastered. I know how to do them. So like in guardian fights and things where it's important, I can do them. Moblin fights, not, not, not big a deal. But like in the, uh, we get to Guardians, yeah. Parries and, and Flurry Rushes all the way. Oh, we did it! <laughs> Let's go! Lava Lizard is going back to where it came from. Top of the mountain. Let's get it. I definitely could be better at Flurry Rushes and Parries. I'm better than I remembered, though. My parries are a lot stronger than I... I thought I was going to be really terrible at them. I was not very good the first playthrough. I got my timing a lot better. That was so cool! You really put a licking on that thing, Link. Why are all the divine beasts corrupted? This is our big chance. I can actually answer that. That that seems like a fair question. They are super important. That's how you do a lot of damage. Yeah, we'll try to optimize those a little bit more. We got enough enemies in the in the temple to go through that. To practice a little bit more. So the Divine Beasts are corrupted by Calamity Ganon. He's the big swarm of purple haze and goop surrounding Hyrule's castle. And essentially he's corrupted all these ancient Divine Beasts to do his bidding. He has a form of himself that is kind of fused to the ancient beast. Yeah. So they have like, each beast has a Calamity version of Ganon. Some like part of Ganon that you can kill. And that's how you free the Divine Beasts. It's magic. It's Ganon. Hey, little guy. Hey, Daruk's here. Let's go. I always knew you'd come back. You know, 
I never stop believing in you. Can they You're stop time as well? Who? Man, can who stop time? I mean, flare rushes are basically stopping time. Link is moving faster than what's reasonably possible. All right, I don't remember the lava lizard puzzles being all that difficult. I can't remember how we manipulate him. You can grab the info <laughs> Dead goopy, good beast. There we go. Hell yeah. Way to condense that into a nice, easy to remember chunk of words. All right. So I... I'm gonna go to the bathroom, and then we're gonna do this temple. Um, here, get hype, get freaking lit. We're gonna do it. Are you ready for the lava lizard? All right, so we're gonna go in here and we're gonna get the map for the lava lizard. <laughs> yeah, I just had to go grab, oh, I just had to go run to the bathroom real quick. I forgot this place was dark. I did not realize that was a thing. Yeah, I, you know, I can't leave you guys for too long. I got a divine beast to conquer. Um, ooh, chests. Hell yeah. Hell yeah. Now that's a weapon. Can I use bombs to like, yeah, bombs are a good way to light this place up. I guess I should use a torch. That probably... It's just, you know, when you put good vibes out into the world, you get good vibes back. You ask for a torch, and Lord knows you get a torch. Selecting my runes works well? Oh... Yeah, like, Magnesis and Stasis basically illuminate things for me. That's... Alex, you're just you're just crushing it out there. You're out here doing everything. How bright does this work? Honestly, I think the runes might be... A, the, like, Stasis rune might be... Oh, we need to do this anyway. <laughs> Alright, so we're good. Alright. Let's do some parries, right? Look at me. I can do parries. I wouldn't lie to you. I swear he has no piss in him. Look, if you are un... So, I'm not saying that I couldn't hold my bathroom break. Obviously, I could go longer without going to the bathroom. The thing is, if I have a toilet that's, you know, 10 meters away from me, I'm gonna... Like, why would I not, you know? Why would I sit in any amount of pain if I don't have to? Why would you put yourself through that? Is there an eyeball in here? I feel like there's an eyeball in here. Yeah. Oh, but now I have to relight my torch. Alright, so we'll use stasis instead. <laughs> okay. Good, good, good. Look, I drink a lot of fluids. <laughs> I should just be okay. Yeah, maybe next time I'll just set my whole rig up in the bathroom So that way you don't, you don't have to miss out on the action But then you wouldn't have had that time to get real hype about this dungeon, you know And that you I wouldn't want to rob you of that Wow, this place got good good stuff All right, we're gonna need to light that So let's go back and grab our wait was I hitting him with my torch? 
And you play Doom music more often. So, I mean, you know, I think there's a time and place for it. You know, we can't just use Doom music all the time. Because then it loses effect. So we gotta, we gotta pay set all the music. Just stream up. Toilet stream! Hell yeah! <laughs> so I did think I saw it was like a fake ad for like a toilet desk. So essentially the toilet, instead of facing like the back kind of bowl being up against the wall, they turned it around. So you kind of sit on it backwards. And then you use the back of the toilet as kind of a, a desk that you could type on the computer. <laughs> I would feel really uncomfortable sitting, even if I wasn't like using the bathroom, I would still feel extremely uncomfortable streaming from my bathroom. I don't think anyone would enjoy that. <laughs> ah, I don't remember this temple at all. I do not remember having to go through a dark temple and light all of these little torches. A 10 year cord for the, uh, what's it called? Yeah, it's like, <laughs> what's that, what's that noise in the background? It sounds like liquid dropping into a bowl of other liquid? What is that about? Is the map? Hell yeah, we found the map. That thing for recording? Like, like OBS? A camera? Microphone? My voice, videos, <laughs> capture card, capture card. All right, so what do we rotate on the lava lizard? Do the, when do the lights come on? Do they come on now? Nice job getting the map of the divine beast. Thanks to Rook, to Rook. Terminals that control Rusani. Are noted by the glowing points on your map. I I've been here before. All right, like this isn't my first divine beast. I'm aware of the five terminal rule. You got this, little guy. God, Daruk's such such a cool guy. Oh, the lights are on. Let's go. We got the doors open. Heck yeah. My capture card is built in my PC. I wouldn't be able to get a longer cable. You could, yeah, I guess it's whatever you connect to there. So I guess you could just get an HDMI cable to get it done for you. Again, I think we're, <laughs> I think we're getting a little too, I think we're discussing the bathroom streaming a little too hard here. <laughs> okay, arrows nice. Bomb arrows maybe? Ice arrows maybe? Just more arrows, I'll take it. Arrows are a hot commodity around these parts. All right. Um, so what do we need to do? I guess uh, looking at our map would be good. Oh, we can only- oh, he only has two positions. That actually makes this a lot easier. Probably. I would assume? Yeah, this will definitely make it easier. Do I want that chest? Eh, maybe we'll get it later. All right, I'm basically just gonna walk around here. I'm not gonna really look for the the terminals. I'm sure we'll just find them just along the way. Okay, everything's on fire. Oh, I feel like Link can make it up that. It's so close. Um, ah, okay. Okay, now we're up here. Okay. I don't. Okay. Urbosa's fury is ready. Oh, thanks, Urbosa. I'm glad it's ready. Alex, do you scream? Stream? Do you need to follow back? Cause I'll happily do it. Let's see. If so, what do you stream? What can I look forward to in my Alex disc streams? Occasionally. You know what? I'll be on the lookout. If it pops up, I'll be there. And if I'm awake, because obviously we have a time difference. But honestly, it probably works better for me, because I go to bed real early. Haven't streamed in a hot minute, mostly Nintendo. Nintendo just got good games. <laughs> Alright, sounds good. 
Let's see... Maybe I should actually... Be, I'm just climbing the outside of this because I thought it would be a good idea. Normally it works pretty well. Uh, what happens if we rotate this now? Okay, now we're on top. This seems good. This seems like a good place to be. Okay, there is one on top of him. If we climb up his spiny back, we can get to one of the terminals. So we'll go do that. We also have herboses, or not herboses for you. We have the thing that can fly us in the air. So I'm just gonna use that. Yeah, that seems like a really easy thing to, to get through this. Oh, wait. How do I... Wait. Wait, no, not fair. Where's the eyeball at? Is it there? Is that it? Does that count? I don't know. Oh, do I have to light something on fire? What do they want me to do here? Alright. Um, I have one more of the, the jumpy thing. Do you think the goop was removed? I think the goop was removed. I'm gonna go for it. Wait, where is that terminal at? <laughs> oh, I'm way too far this way. Why do you need to go to another monitor? So can... Yeah. Oh my... How do you kill this thing? It's too goopified. Oh, it's right up there. I overthought it. Yeah, so your capture card basically... you if This isn't on a Switch, but if you do use a different console... Um... I just stream from my desktop most of the time. But essentially, I need to see what's on the Switch, and then you need to see what's on the Switch. But I can't just watch the my OBS because there's delay to it. So you want to see it in live time. So you basically need something kind of split it. Yeah, this is emulated because I wanted to run it at 60 frames. So Link runs really smoothly. The whole world just looks a lot cleaner. And it makes, yeah, it makes my life a little easier. Because I, my capture card is not very good. I didn't get a 3070 for nothing. Hell yeah, we're putting it to good use here. Look at this 60 frame game. Uh, I'm just gonna sit. Oh, Link, Link. Oh, okay. Wait, can I just rotate this? Wait, what the hell? Is that it? Wow, that was easy. No ray Yeah, this isn't ray tracing. You tried emulating PC to sorts that I couldn't afford the space. There are three yeah. Things. I just have a... All I bought right. like a... Um, get moving. A, sec a second hard drive that stores all of my... So I keep all my games on like my solid state drive, my SSD. Like this is all saved on there. So I want it to run faster. Then I basically put everything that I don't use, that I don't need to get access to fast into the, the standard hard drive. And it makes my life a little easier. Computers are very complicated. Oh, wait, wait, wait. There's a ball. A ball. Hmm. Why? Okay, explain to me why I need a 3070 to emulate an old GameCube game. I feel like I don't... <laughs> I feel like that's a little overkill. Like, do you understand, like, the, <laughs> the, the hardware that that game was built around? Why would you need it to be more complicated? Like, in eight... Okay. I can only, you, you were viewing this in 1080p. That is the best quality you can get on Twitch. My monitors only do it at 920 by 1080p as well. That's all the Ks I have. Rendering in 8K doesn't do anything to benefit me. I don't have the pixels. You don't have the pixels. I can't see it in 4K. My monitor is not 4K. <laughs> It would be render- I would be doing all this processing work to get nothing in return. <laughs> just to say- it'd be literally just for the flex to say that I am- I could, you know, I am rendering in 4K. Oh, that's not what I wanted to do. Um... I don't know- yeah, I- I think- Oh wait, we need to burn that. That's easy enough. Can I just use an arrow? To catch on fire like this? All right, we'll use a flame arrow then. So, I mean, 
I don't know if I can see the difference. I think 1080p is plenty. I don't feel like I can see the difference between 1080 and 4K most of the time. Like, maybe in, like, Planet Earth, if you put them side by side, some nature documentary you put side by side with some really deep colors, I could probably tell the difference. I just, okay, like, I know it's more pixels. I know that on paper, more resolution makes a prettier picture, but I don't think the human eye can physically see it, is what I'm, I'm thinking. Like, at a certain point, it just doesn't work. Like, I, okay, I, I, 4K video on, like, a big TV, yeah, maybe. It also needs to be filmed in 4K. Like, you gotta think, whoever filmed the video has to film it in the resolution for the camera. Like, even if your TV is 4K, but if they filmed it without that resolution, you can't tell. Like, you won't be able to do anything with that. It won't look good. You're just kind of doubling pixels. It's the placebo from big pixels trying to make you think that you need all these pixels, when I don't think you do. Same with frame rates. I don't think you need a 320 frame rate monitor. <laughs> I think that's too many frames. I think 144 is plenty. I think that's the max amount of frames you need on a monitor. How many terminals we got left? We got two terminals left. Um, do I need to light this thing on fire? Is that what it wants me to do? If I'm if I'm getting consistent 60 frames, I'm very happy. I don't think that I need anything more than 60 frames. All right, let me try to light some things on fire. Wait, 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 wait. I just need to get in here, right? Can I just crawl through this? Link, go! Oh my god! Did you guys see that? Link literally just went through the wall. That was not intentional. There's no shot that that's how they're intending you to get through this. What the heck? What do I do with that power? <laughs> I, I'm still stuck in here. Um, I, what, what do I do now? Wait, 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 what if I rotate this thing? These things move? You're not, you can crawl through, but you're not supposed to. Okay. All right, we're, okay, there is a, a thing in here. Oh, jeez, I'm all discombobulated. Uh, do I need to, okay, so it looks like if I light that on fire... That lets me in here. Huh. Okay, we got Rivali. Okay, let's light this on fire, I guess. And get whatever's in there. Big metal cube. That would probably be really helpful to get around this fire, if I had to guess. Um, but we probably need to rotate this whole thing over. And then also make sure this doesn't, like, murder me. Oh, good god. Um, good? Nice. Alright, cool. That was real fun. I love breaking games. I've never done a fun glitch, like, unintentionally before. Like, I've done, like, game-breaking stuff, like, when I watched a video and practiced it for way too long. But I never, like, oh, I wonder if I can go through this wall. Link just looked like he could do it, you know? Now, the problem is... How do I get out? <laughs> do I still just clip through it? I do just clip through it. Alright, that was... That's tremendously easy to do. I cannot believe that wasn't found out earlier. Um, the next thing... Looks like we need to get inside of this hole. So I need to get a ball in here. 
Got it. Uh, where would a, if I was a ball, where would I be? It's yeah. If you didn't try it, you wouldn't like. You have to actively go for it. Has anyone seen a ball, like a spherical object that I could shove into a slot to open a door? It's basically a key. Um, is it behind a door? Did I open these doors? Yeah, we did, right? The torch at the top. Oh, okay, that releases it. All right, so I need to get a torch to the tippy top of this, probably. All right, so to get up, we need to rotate this thing. As long as Link doesn't slip, we'll be fine. All right, got it. Okay. It's 2.24 a.m. Give it up for 2.24 a.m., everyone. Let's go. 2.24. Can we get 2.25? Who knows? Rotate. Alright, good. Oh, there's the ball. Got it. Cool, cool, cool. Now the ball's there. Uh, probably want to rotate it again. Good night. Have a good night. Uh, is it rolled down this thing? Sounds like it's rolling down that thing. Hell yeah! We put the ball in the hole! We put the ball in the hole! Oh, wait. Wait, wait, wait. I, I got ahead of myself. I could have sworn I heard it moving. I Oh, God. I, 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 sorry, sorry. Sorry, I got everyone hyped up about that. We did not put the ball in the hole. The ball is not yet in the hole yet. I hear it rolling around. I just don't know where it's at anymore. I'm very confused. Okay, there is the ball. Oh, we probably need to use Magnesis to move it. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Wait, wait, wait. We're almost there. We're almost there. There we go. We got a hole in one, everyone. Let's go. I knew we could do it. We did a golf. Hell yeah. That was the last All right, now let's go fight a boss. Now go ahead and start up uh, fire blight, is that a thing? Be a new glowing mark on your map. I know. Daruk, I got it. Again, we've done, the t <laughs> we've done Divine Beast before. We got this. We got this. All right, all right. So we just gotta get to the top. Fire, fire blight cannon. All right. Um, ice arrow's probably pretty good, right? We talked about this earlier. Things on fire do not like being hit by ice. So I'm thinking that's a good strategy going forward. All right. This is actually a really fun temple. It wasn't very complex. Didn't take too long. I liked moving the map around. Oh, that was fun. All right, what are we looking on food? We have one food, and what's our fairy? We got two fairies. All right. Um, what's our bow situation? Everything's on fire, so we'll use one of these strengthened bows. That'll be good. Um, ice arrows will be good. We have 60 of those. I don't know. Bombs in case it's important. Uh, we probably don't need a torch. Uh, the wind cleaver would probably be pretty good there. <laughs> all right, all right. Like, I know it wasn't the cleanest temple. But, like, I played Majora's Mask not too long ago. That was, like, the previous Zelda game we played. And those temples are hard. Those dungeons are, like, you gotta you gotta know what you're doing. Like, those take hours. This one took, like, 30 minutes. Like, comparatively, this wasn't too bad compared to some other dungeons. All right, Fireblade. Let's see what you got. I need to make dinner. <laughs> All right. 
I only have one intense song. Everyone get lit. We're playing against... Oh, actually, this might be better. We're playing against Fire Blight Ganon. Our job? Take him down before he takes us down. Daruk, we will avenge you. Good luck, little guy. Go get him. Oh my god, he's big. Watch out for that sword. All right, I need him to get down to my level. All right. Um Can I flurry rush him? There we go. All right, we're doing some practicing. Slowly but surely, Link is wearing down Fire Blight Ganon's health. And showing him what he's got. Phase two, baby. Let's see what phase two looks like. He's got more fire. Oh, baby. The flaming ball is dangerous. You don't say. Uh, how do I stop the flaming ball? I don't know. Oh, baby. I don't know what he's doing. I don't like any part of this. Okay. I, I can't hit him. Damn it. I want to parry this. I broke my shield. Gosh darn it. Alright. He's over there now. I'm gonna... I think I have to parry this. Oh, you gotta give him the good suck. That's it. That's how we do it. The big suck comes through. Oh, wait, wait, I have Urbosa's Fury too. Wait, can I just... Can we just use Urbosa's Fury? Does that work? That seems to work pretty well. Dang it. Wait, no, this isn't what I want. We're gonna go hard. Let's finish this off strong, everyone. Zelda Link, do it for Hyrule. Let's go! All right, we did it. <laughs> nice, that was Fire Blood Gated. Good game, appreciate it. Thank you. Whew. I just got access to all the soundboard stuff. I'm still learning how to use it and when to use it and have enough songs to generate enough musical accompaniment for the action that we are doing. All right. That's all the temples. We have all the Divine Beasts conquered now. The only things we have left to do are get the Master Sword and go to fight Ganon and Hyrule. Um, however, we will be doing some kind of side quests along the way. Because I'm not done playing the game yet. <laughs> Link's bat is just on fire <laughs> in the gutsuit. Ba -ba 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 -ba. We got a heart container, baby. I just wish the side quests were a little more rewarding. Like, I think they're fun and I like the ideas behind them. I wish they just gave you more than like 50 rupees or like a ruby or something to make it a look like to kind of force you to do because i there are really good quest lines that will give you like special armor or like that giant horse quest there's some really cool side quests but there's so many of them that are kind of yeah tedious or monotonous and you just end up with money it just doesn't feel as rewarding 
And it's because there's not not all side quests give you something good, you end up not do I end up not doing all of them. Like the Zora woman to follow the letter down the river. Oh, I never did that one. Because of you, my it's, does the letter just go in the river and you have to follow it and like catch it? I feel like I should apologize. Ooh, Daru. You don't need to apologize to me. You did a great job. Sorry that me resting with the rubble caused such a mess. That sounds awful. I hate swimming. Good news is Thank God there's not a water temple in this. Under our control. They did a really good job of eliminating a water problem from this game. You can't even swim. You can't even go underwater if you wanted to. I'm gonna take this down the to make it sure that no monsters break it, the letter. It's like a <laughs> it's like a follower quest, but your follower is a letter. <laughs> I want to give you something. It's a special power of mine called Daruk's. We're gonna get Daruk's protection. It's no good to me now that I'm a spirit, but it might be useful for you. Give it to me. Here it comes. I can feel it. Oh! Wow! Do the thing, Link. Do the thing. Do the thing. Punch the ground. Yeah! Link can be protected from anything now. When Letter gets there, it's a grown adult dating at Zorcha. Power of protection from the depths of my soul now lives inside. I don't doubt it. That. That's that's some that's some of the Zelda Breath of the Wild lore. I need to get a little wacky with the uh, the relationship and stuff in here. To the princess. I don't honestly like if I'd never played this game before, I would have said that that's a lie. You're exaggerating. But honestly, I've played the quest in this. I believe full heartedly that that is a the actual scenario that happens. All right. Let's see the Lava Lizard shoot Hyrule Castle. This is the fourth Divine Beast. I don't know if there's a different cutscene now that we have all four shooting it. The semi- Okay. Sounds good. Just throw it in the Discord. I'll be happy to watch it. Oh. Honestly, I think the Lizard is the coolest Divine Beast. Like, if I was going to control one, I just think he looks cool. Like, I don't think he has the power... Of like the elephant's pretty sick and the camel's got some stuff. I think the lizard is just the coolest to me. I think I, I like reptiles though. So that would make that tracks. God. Also, look at that head cannon. He's like the demogorgon from Stranger Things. God, he's just so cool. It's my favorite divine beast. I also really like Daruk. He's a good character. Once Link is in the castle, Luthania will unleash an epic blast. Oh, they're not actually doing anything. They're locking on to the castle. That makes sense. Okay, so when they actually... Okay, when we enter the castle, then they shoot. That's why it's not actually damaging the castle. They only get, like, one shot at this. I sure hope. <gasps> it's Jinobo. Look at look at the rook. Hey. hey! Still going strong indeed. Hell yeah! Way to go, Jinobo! You brought us to the promised land. You deserve it. <laughs> Give it up for Jinobo. He brought us here. It was his passion and his Daruk's protection that allowed us to enter the Divine Beast. He deserves all of the credit. God, give it up for you, Nobo. Best score I've ever met. God, he's so good. He's such a good character. All the Gorons are. I really like the Gorons. Woo! Jeruk's protection! All right, we have all of the divine powers. And Link and Zelda probably wants to tell me, like, hey, you gonna come rescue me or you're still gonna just mess around and hook up with Paya? Thanks to you, <laughs> all of the divine beasts have returned to us. And the spirits of the champions are free. Thanks. Yeah, I did that. Your clash with Ganon. 
at Hyrule Castle. You're gonna have to wait. I I have a lot of stuff on my plate right now. Um, let's go talk to the boss man. And then I think we'll wrap up for the day. I also, I guess I should change my weapon. <laughs> Although it being on fire probably adds additional damage to it. You know, Bo! Hey, brother! Thanks so much for appeasing Rudania. I don't exactly know what you're doing in Rudania, but, well, it seems to have calmed down. You know, while I was up there, I could have sworn I saw Lord Daruk standing up on top of Rudania. I wonder, was that his ghost? I don't know how to explain it, but somehow I feel a lot na braver now, Goro. Huh? Oh, that's right. I talked to Boss about you. You said I'll to bring you to him. An order from the boss can't be refused. Move it, Goro. Oh, I thought he was going to physically throw me at the boss. I wanted to go for a Goro ride. Goron, Goron ride. <laughs> Alright, well, let's talk to boss man. Uh, obviously, his request cannot be refused. And I'm not going to be the one that refuses. Oh my god, the lizard died. Alright. Hmm. Hey, it's you. Yonobo told me everything. You really are something else, brother. You know that? I can't believe you conquered Adania. Colored me impressed. But good grief. Did you have to do it just when my back pain went away? I was all rear and ready to go to fight Rodania myself. <coughs> but now you've gone and made it look like I was just fibbing about my back pain this whole time. Imagine that. <laughs> I'm also happy to see you, Yonobo finally got his act together. I know that's your doing as well. But enough back packing, back padding, and other such nonsense. Take a look at this. The divine beast Varudania has calmed down and returned to his peaceful ways. Now we can get back to digging for ore around Death Mountain. All right, you still got to thank you, brother. What's he gonna give me? There's some treasure in my house. Grab it, keep it. It's yours. It's a sharp blade that Daruk himself once wielded. I'm sure he'll be able to make good use of it. Hell yeah. However, well, as a Highland, you probably already know this, but apparently a hundred years ago, yeah, yeah, yeah. I understand the Master Sword's important. We'll get it later. Yeah, I, I understand. I don't want to get there too early. All right, let's check out this weapon. I don't know if I can carry it. You sent me the quest? Awesome. The Boulder Breaker. Oh, I can carry it. Hell yeah. All right, let's... How long is that video? Mouse. All right. I don't like it. I don't like it at all. I I don't. <laughs> no. 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 <laughs> yeah, it's exactly like you said. I mean, that is a Zora child with an adult. Highly in man. I don't like this relationship. I think the Zoras technically live a lot longer than a Hylian, so there is like this weird age thing, but I don't I don't like this. Again, I think they're getting a little too comfortable with the way that they're dealing with this, if I'm being honest. Oh. Soulmate. God. I don't know about that. Alright, let's save. And Let's see if we can find someone to raid. Um, Alex, if you're new here, generally what I try to do is find someone else with the name Cactus in their Twitch name, and we raid them as part of the Cactus Crew community. So I'm going to see if there's anyone worth raiding on Twitch right now. All right. Let's see if anyone's on there. Wow. Wow. I... This is the first time this happened. There's not anyone else with Cactus. Yeah, there's no one... Okay. I need English. I don't want to... Okay, we could watch someone play Fortnite. There's only... Yeah, there's only... Okay, there's me. That's pretty cool. Um... <laughs> Wow. 
Well, I guess we're gonna say hi to Cactus Nick. He is literally the only English-speaking person. He's playing Valorant. Let's make sure it's safe for all audiences. He seems pretty cool. He's from New York City. He's 19. All right, cool. That's good enough for me. Raid yourself. I don't know if you could do that. We're gonna raid Cactus Nick. All right. He's been playing Valorant. We'll, we'll, go, we'll go say hi. I appreciate sticking around. I think, thank you for all the help. Let's go see what Cactus Nick is up to. All right. Bye.